Hello, procrastinators, and welcome to a Nerd Cube road trip. Today, we are playing Fuel, and we are going very, very far indeed. We are starting out here at the Pacific Ocean, and we are going to be traveling across all of the map. Like, we're going to do a diagonal slice across the map. Um, if you don't play Fuel before, it's an off road rally kind of game, so we will be off roading most of this and. It, there's a lot to off-road. Holy crap, look at the size of that we're gonna have to dodge. Yeah, we may have to go around a few things every now and then. I've never actually done this. I, I really want to know if it's done. Uh, so we're on the top left of the map and we're going all the way down to here. And then more because that is only the middle of the map. We're gonna have to go around that giant lake. Uh, and then we're gonna have to go all the way down here, all the way over here, through that bit of texture. That, uh, look out! Look, it's not. It doesn't even know how to load up the map. That's how far we got. I'll zoom out to be easier on the game. Yeah, there. So that's how far we've got to go. That's to the middle area and then a little bit further. Uh, and then as a finale, I'm going to try and lob myself into this canyon. I don't know if that's possible. I've literally never been down here before. But yeah, so so this is the map of fuel. It's insane. Uh, I will currently overlay the Just Cause 2 map onto it for scale. Yeah, you see, it's, it's pretty big. Uh, right, so without further ado, let's get started. Oh yeah, in fact, let's go this way because then I can jump through the ship. Which is an awesome way to start a video. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that this is technically almost nearly, I couldn't be bothered to work out properly, my 1,000th upload. It's already gone, my 1,000th upload. I'm aware it's already gone, but I never celebrated it, so I thought I'll do another road trip, because Desert Bus and Euro Truck was so much fun to do. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's my 1,000th upload across like uh, both my channels, so the uh, IRL one and the not IRL one. This one. Whee! And yeah, so 1,000 uploads. I like celebrating things that I've done, that I had some say in, and uploaded YouTube videos, I did a lot of them. Uh, that does include like the hidden videos for the multiple choice one I did as well. So there, 1,000 videos uploaded to YouTube, which is pretty not but. And I decided to play Fuel because I haven't played it for a while. I remember I stopped playing it because all I would do was drive around aimlessly and see what I could find. Because this is, this is set in America, probably America, uh, after it's been shat on by God. Basically, the weather went to shit, so, um, it's, it's, but yeah, it's essentially just a global warming happened, and this is what's left of America. So everything's been destroyed and ruined, and the only people left around are the mentals who have vehicles like this, who like racing. Which is pretty cool as far as story goes. Uh, when we switch between daytime and nighttime, you'll probably notice some horrific flickering lines. That's just a graphical bug. Uh, I would fix it, but this game is incredibly hard to find any support for whatsoever. Because whenever you Google, like, fuel and lighting problems, you just find other shit. Because it's just the word fuel. It's a very un name. In fact, this, this game is no longer even on Steam. Because it had Game for Windows Live, so they don't sell it anymore. You can just make an offline profile. Why did they get rid of it? I have no idea. Uh, right. The, the, generally, just going to be driving now. Just going to be driving. Uh, if you'd like to see how far I've gone in that in that small moment there. Well, there's a car. There are other people on the roads, and occasionally a jet will fly past, but that's it. There's no... You don't see humans, you just see other little truckers driving around doing their truck-related stuff. Uh, so we've so far gone that far there. And just to get out of this area, we need to go... That far. And that's us out of the first area. So this might take a while. I've got... Whoa! -ho -ho! Steady on lighting engine. I have no idea what's causing that. I've tried everything to fix that. I've turned on and off every setting. I was actually going to run this um, in a windowed mode and have like the Twitch chat on the right. But uh, what happened was that if you run it in window mode, you get all the debug tools because you have to force the window mode in. And then if you right click on the screen, you get debug tools. And I would have had too much fun with the debug tools to do this properly. So um, I've got the Twitch chat on. I'm not live streaming this. I was going to live stream this and I thought, no, it's an upload, you know. Let's stick with YouTube for this. It's, it seems fairer. But the Twitch chat are asking me questions, so I can jump to that every now and then and do that sort of thing. But yeah, I thought I'd celebrate a thousand YouTube videos made. Because, you know, that's a lot. That's like, that's a stupid amount. It's just, it's just sheer on, like, it's the, bizarrely, a lot of work goes into making a thousand of anything, really. And, you know, YouTube videos, they do take, like, a long time. Just means I've been doing this forever, I suppose that's how that means. Um, I... I've turned off all of the shit apart from the map in the bottom left because it looks nicer and neater But um That may end up being a bad idea because I might end up going slightly skew if every now and then and off on a, a wonky direction 
So this will be interesting to see what happens. Oh my god, what's that ahead of me? It's it's walkers from Mars. I like that we can literally just beeline it as well. We don't have to follow roads or anything. I can just go off and if I see something interesting, I can go and see what it is, which I think is more fun. Oh, there's just like some smashed up weather vanes. Well, yep, that's that's all in in America. This is actually all the uh, the wind turbines they have. That's it. That's all of them, and they've been smashed up. Oh, one's completely fallen over over here. Let's go and investigate that one. So yeah, we'll, we'll go past a lot of stuff like this when we see the moon and lots of flickering. I think it actually might be a recording problem. Like when I record with this, it just makes it flicker for some reason because it doesn't seem to happen when I'm not recording. I'm dead. We'll just carry on. If I die, we're just going to carry on. Look how far you can see. That, that's pretty damn far. Um, <laughs> the sun just turned on. Right, let's actually... So there's a hill there. Oh, look, I'm looking completely the wrong direction already. That's good. So that hill there is that hill that you can see up on the right there. So that hill over there. Which means that that distance there looks massively far. And we've got to do that distance about... Yes, about 11 million times. So I need to apparently be going over in this direction. This is the direction I'm supposed to be going in. Okie dokie. Let's carry on. Uh, I'm using the very first car in the game because I've only bothered to unlock the top left thing, which you get after like like two or three races, and then go from there because that's the longest distance you can travel across the map. Uh, I've no idea what sort of length it is, but it's, it's pretty bloody big. Whoa, under that. That's close. There's a car! That was... Oh, I was about to say that was smooth, but he clocked me. What a git. Let's take a question from Twitch. Right, I'm not actually talking to the Twitch chat. I kind of just want to see if they stick to questions or if they just go mad and self referency So it's a little experiment into what happens to a Twitch chat when you just leave it alone for a while and don't give it any input. It's going to be quite fun. Uh, before we do that, I want to see if I'm still going the right way. No, I'm still going the wrong way. How am I managing that? This road here. Is this road here the right way? Like, I could put a compass on the top, but I thought that was going to be cheating. But I don't think I'd go off wrong this much. If we follow this road, and then go off, and then follow that road ahead of it. There's a helipad there. I think you can use those uh, as fast travel points. But only once you've unlocked an area to do that, you have to win races and stuff. So if we stick to this road for a little while, um, we should hopefully get to where I'm thinking we need to go. To the Twitch chat! Right. Um, oh my god, it's going so fast. I have to see, it's on my phone, so I have to look down at it. And when I'm looking down at it, I'm not... Actually, I'm going to hold it up to my face and try and read... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Uh, Dan, what is your opinion on Battlefield Hardline? Asks... Hang on a second. Uh, Itachi648. Um, I don't care. It really is a case of I just don't care about it. I'd love to care about it, but then again, like, Battlefield 4, I never got into. Like, 3 I played quite a lot of, but 4 was like, this is fun, and then I never played it again. So another one... I mean, because their single players are just awful. Just so awful. I think I'm looking forward to playing an awful single player more than I am the multiplayer. I, I have no interest in their multiplayer whatsoever, um, but I'm looking forward to another absolutely giant, giant pile of ass like the completely unfinished Battlefield 4 uh, multiplayer, uh, uh, single player, sorry. The multiplayer. Oh, then again, I play on PC, so the multiplayer. I have such trouble still trying to get into a match. Sort of technical problems got rid of it. But I don't know why it's flickering so much. The lighting engine in this game is very strange. Um, yeah, so if you want to play this, it's on PS3 and 360, this game. Fuel. Um, and it's also on uh, PC, but you'll have a hard time finding it on Steam. And you might have a problem trying to get it to work. It was working fine for me, but I, I have no idea. The, the, whoever made this apparently hasn't given out anything. They've just, they literally just took it off Steam. Like, we're not selling that anymore. Oh my god, just driving towards the light is going... La, 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 la. It'll be fine. I bet if we render it, when I get this down to 30, it'll look completely fine. In fact, it might be because I'm recording at 30. I'm recording at 30 just to save space, because I want to do it in 1080p. So, um, oops. I, I've also, I went off the road I was supposed to be going on. I'm just driving in sort of a straight line. Because they always say that you always go in a circle. Oh, a livery's been sorted. Livery. Livery. Livery sounds right. Uh, that would be a big glowing thing on my map. So basically you can just drive around and you find new, like, paint jobs and stuff for your car and challenges and things and everything's fruity! Oh god, that was a horrible crash. <laughs> Count the times I've crashed. I won't. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to go to Twitch for another... This is just going to be like a giant Q&A thing as well. Because, you know, why not? Um, Matt's shouting at everyone. Oh, God bless you, Matt. Why, why did you hire Matt? That's not being asked, but Matt's there. Why did I hire Matt? Because I, I was looking for a community manager. Um, and I was like, I'll just hire Matt. The reason I hired Matt before, instead of interviewing anyone or anything, was that he was already doing it for free and doing a good job. So I thought, eh, I'll pay him. 
that's there's what's the point in interviewing people and doing stuff when someone's already doing the job as well as you want it to be done? Just get that person in. Oops! Sorry about your fence. Ah, you've long abandoned this place. Let's figure out what did we just so we just came we were on deserty bits, now we're in some sort of grassy bits. Now we're in some sort of fieldy bits. Oh, there's just there's farming the death of farming simulator over here. Whoops, that's a rock. Oh, there's some fuel. Hit it. Boop. Now I've gained some fuel. Fuel is the currency. You can buy new vehicles and stuff in the game. Oh wow, that lighting engine is going mad right now. Yeah, this is I think this is the reason I just stopped playing this was because it just started to look gross. I remember like the foot the more you play it, the lighting engine would deteriorate. I wonder if that's just because the frame rate started dying because it's loaded up the entirety of America across the map. No idea. Right, let's launch myself up here. Be lucky! Nice, we can change vehicles midway. Should we have a look at the map, see if I'm going in a straight line? Hey, I'm doing it right. That's good to know. Uh, so yeah, we, oh, uh, no, don't, I, I was going to go for the fuel. I could be able to buy pretty much every vehicle by the end of this. Look how far you can see. Holy shit. Look at that. Whom. And we got across this, and that's like not even out of this area yet. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so fun. Um, right, okay. Dan is here, reading silently, says Matt. I was. I was reading the Twitch. I was going to record the Twitch, and I completely forgot until this moment now. Oh, well. Uh, right. Uh, Dan, is David Cameron actually a duck? David Cameron, Prime Minister of England, is not a duck. He is a lizard. He is lizard, people. Come to destroy us all. Uh, it's one of those things. Oh, hello. I can stealth fire just shot past. Yeah, that's him. That's him spying on me. That's David Cameron going, oh, saying a nasty thing. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go and mingle with the people. Hello, the people. I'm mingling with you. Okay, bye now. Uh, yeah, he's lizard people come to destroy us all. Because that, that's the only explanation for all the evil things that he's been doing. I see a ramp. And I'm going for the ramp. This is a much more fun instead of just Desert Bus, which was designed to be evil. This is genuinely designed to be fun. Woohoo! Money, money, money. Mwah! Ow. Ow. I don't know if you buy a new car if it sends you back to the start. It sends you back to a safe point. Oh, can I just ramp off some... Some dude's just buried his house here. That's that's some serious weather protection there. So if you're playing this game properly, you get a lot of weather effects. I don't think you get them in the offline, although that does look kind of grey, so it might rain or something. But I don't think I've ever seen them happen, so... We're going to see. Like, you actually get, like, tornadoes and shit. And, like, really evil weather during the races. But I don't think that happens during the... Just the free roam. Oh, no, it's starting to rain. Hey, that's nice. So I actually have some weather stuff to deal with as well. Uh, I, I, this car is entirely off-road. Like, all its skills are in off-road. Hardly anything on-road, so that's why I'm trying to just... I just wanted to beeline it. Just go in a straight line and see what we see. Oh, I'm really starting to rain now. Uh, I hope I don't get, get a tornado. I've no idea how to... I assume they were just event-based things. Uh, I kind of want to check the map a little. See if we're going the right way. We are going the right way. So I I'll, won't I'll check the map as much as I was anymore. Because that'll just be problematic. Uh, right. Oh, God. The chat's going so goddamn fast. New Doctor Who or classic Doctor Who? Says the mighty floor. The mighty floor. Flop doesn't sound like anything that could ever be mighty. Like a flop sounds like something that's just, you know, it's got ginger hair and wears glasses. But it's like a bowl cut ginger hair, you know. And it's like, oh, I'm flop. Yeah, it didn't, oh, well, the, but anyway, the mighty flop. Um, uh, I, I forgot the question. What the fuck? Oh, no, it was Doctor Who, was it? Classical New Doctor uh, I'm for New Who. Because it's better in every single way. Isn't limited to... Oh, who's it that said that joke? That when you're, um... If you're ever design if you're ever trying to make a Doctor Who costume for Halloween, you are actually working with the same budget that the original makers of those monsters had. If you're making an old Who one. Because they literally, the Daleks were made for £8.50 sort of thing, and that's probably not an overstatement. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, the rain stopped. Well, that was fun! Oh, there's some duck. Oh, that's me. I was like, what's all that? Oh, shit, this forest has been cut down. Hang on, spin back, spin back, spin back! I'm not using the mouse at all, I'm using the sad for the, uh, the aiming. Under there! Nice. Through that. Didn't work. Lost the wheel. It's fine. Carry on. Just lose your speed. That's the only punishment. Uh, but yeah, no, I prefer New Who because it's all clever and smart. And Oh, then again, Old Who was clever. And... I haven't watched enough Old Who. I think that's a problem. The BBC always release it in like, weird box sets of just like one or two stories. I just want everything. I want the everything Doctor Who box set. Just box set of every... all the things we have. Apart from, you know, the missing episodes. Maybe gaps for the missing episodes so I can slot them in. But just a big, giant box of absolutely all old Doctor Who. And then I'll be able to give a fair assessment. Because it's not really on telly very much. Uh, it's very pretty, this game. So it's it's sort of... It's, it reminds me sort of of the old Motocross Madness games. Just a big, empty place for you to go play in. Uh, well, oh my god, look at that view. But it's, um... You know... Whee! 
But there, there's a little more going on in these, I think. It's a lot bigger. A hell of a lot bigger. A ridiculously large amount bigger. But we'll be okay. And you can't buy on Steam, because fuck you. Uh, what are we going for now? Right, um... Hang on, I'm trying to read. Martin the Gamer says, Daniel, look out! Oh, fuck, you're right. What the fuck?! What the f- Whoa, hang on. Right, so because this is a- I'm trying to do this more of a proper road trip. If we see interesting stuff, we are gonna get sidetracked. This is interesting. Thank you, Martin the Gamer. There just appears to be, like, the world's smallest tsunami happening here. Cool! Thanks, thanks for pointing that out to me. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if anyone's actually seen everything this, because a lot of it's like randomly generated. I believe they just like... So I don't even think they built the hills or anything. I think they built the roadways and then fucking went, eh! That's it. Built, generate yourself. And then so it's different every time you generate it. But, um... Oh, night time again. Expect the lines. There's the lines. the lines you may not see. Uh... This is utterly pointless if he isn't going to stream. To someone whose name just went off. It's kind of pointless, yeah. I just kind of needed questions for this, really. There's, there's a lot of pressure I get when streaming. I, I'm not very good at streaming, um, yet. I mean, I've only done it like three or four times as tests. I am now a Twitch partner though, that was that was accepted this morning, which is cool. So I can do that as living now. Although I won't do as much as probably other streamers. I've already, I want to aim for like once or twice a week, no more than that. Um, probably more once to start with. Ow. Just didn't move out of the way of that tree. Oh no, my thing's all knackered up. Ah, crap. But yeah, there's a lot of pressure on stream that people are watching it then and there. And when I'm sort of pre-recording it, it's just me talking to my microphone so I can get a lot more. I know, I feel I feel funnier when I'm like this. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just a quick check, we're still on course. Ah, we have veered off to the right. Although, we have very nearly left the first area. Yeah, which isn't actually a whole area to cross. It's just like from there to there. So now we've got to cross... How much of the map have we done? So we've got probably do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight or nine more of them. How long was that? Yeah, oh my god. Hold on, hold together, view. Yeah, probably what? 20? How long was that? I've, I've not got a clock on me. I don't know, two hours or so. Maybe two hours. It sounds like a good amount of time to take to do something for a little road trip. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, what the creepy is this forest? That's actually genuinely cool. Just no trees. Just fire has ravaged this one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's very blue. I like how it's just sort of like quite creepy in my car's looking, looking very bone. That, that front bit there looks a bit like skeleton y. Well, on those front wheels getting held on. Looks like a. Oh, shit. I've crashed. Looks a bit haunted, this car now. Oh, it actually has a, does it have a skeleton on the front. Oh, it does. It genuinely has a skeleton on the front. I was referring to the bony bits at the front. Whoops. Veered off to the side. Looking the wrong way! Now I live in a tree. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ha ha ha! Ah, right. Okay. Oh, sorry. I looked down at Twitch for a second and just bowed into a tree. Uh, right. Can you do a video on the game Journey? Ah, oh, Scampwick. No, I find Journey, Journey incredibly boring. Um, really, it's like one of those games that I don't like and a lot of people are like, <gasps> How can you not like Journey? Well, it just didn't do anything for me. Really? Rainer Peak. Oh, did I? Shit, I didn't spin. I was supposed to turn. Oh, it sort of turned for me. That's fine. Yeah, it will set the on. It's sort of... I don't know. I, mean, I didn't play it when it first came out. And when I did play it, because it was entirely dependent on other people, I didn't have a great time. Because everybody that joined into my game knew all the puzzles and just went around and did everything for me. Which was, I found, massively irritating. Also, it was trying really hard to be an experience, not a game. And then every now and then it would just shout, I'm a game, I'm a game, and just screw itself over. So like, there's bits where it's like, slide down this slope and enjoy your slide and we'll throw fantastic scenery past you. Oh, that's the thing you've got to collect, stop! And you would have missed it and then you want to try and go back and you fucked up that entire experience. It didn't know if it wanted to be an experience or a game and it really lost me. Like, see, Flower, Flower the first half was an experience, the second half was a game. That's why the second half is awful and the first half is great. But it's just sort of... I'm going to go straight through here. It just... I don't know. It didn't win me over, Journey, at all. Um, it just had... A, it, it was too much going on. Oh, we can go through that one. Thank God. Just, it just did, it didn't know. It was, it was game and experience at the same time, and that doesn't work. Because you want to just envelop yourself in an area and just go into an area and go, Oh, this is magnificent and beautiful, and I love this. This is wonderful. But at this, the rest of the time, it was like, but I also have to hunt for the collectibles because that's making my scarf longer and there might be secrets. And the part of my brain that knows how to play video games was going, get the thing, get the things, get the things. And it lost a lot because of that. Uh, right, I should actually decide where I'm going based on where the sun is. So if the, if the sun is coming up to my left, going in the right direction. 
I can only do that like once a day, but you know, <laughs> that's self-limiting. Whoa, Nelly. So that's why I haven't done a video on Journey, because I'll just slag it off. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't really want to play it. It's very boring. Um, it's not, it wasn't that boring. It was very pretty, but it also wanted to be a game. And also, the people I was playing with kept cutting out and doing stupid stuff because I dodged the internet. It just, it, I don't like multiplayer games. <laughs> We've been through this. I just don't like them. Oh shit, there's smoke. Hang on, I was about to read a Twitch question. There's smoke over there. We're going to go and investigate the smoke. Oh, hang on, wait. We're going to get... Fuck it, we're going to investigate the smoke after I've done the jump. Because this, this looks like a fun jump to do. Oh, and after I've popped around this fuel here. Handbrake turn. The steering in this game is okay, apart from the, like, the quad bikes that are just awful. Oh, they are so not fun to play with. Whee! Oh, off the roof. Broke the roof. Oh my god. Reverse. Reverse out. No one saw. No one sees. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there's another ramp. Fuck it. Stay the other ramp as well. What the, I don't remember what I was saying. I was saying something. Oh, that happens to be a lot, as I forget what I'm saying. Whoops. Sorry. We're fine. We're cool. We're going to leave now. I did some stuff. Oh, I was looking for some smoke, wasn't I? There was some smoke in the horizon. Somewhere. Oh my god. This is just ramp central. This is awesome. Rampy, 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 ramp. Nice. Clip that. Crash into a pole. Land. Smooth. Smooth as. Smooth as. There's some smoke up here. We're going to go and investigate the smoke. Could be anything. Could be a downed jet, could be a forest on fire, could be just a big fire by the look of it. Just one thing on a lot of fire. What is it? Oh, it's just a burning tree. Oh, it, oh my god! Jesus Christ, it's fucking Lord of the Rings around here. Look, there's Mount Doom in the distance, I think. Holy crap. Oh, no, it's not Doom. Mountain, is that just more smoke? Good lot above. It's just a burning. This place is burning. Yeah, I thought that was like the outline of a mountain there. But it is smoke, I believe. Yes, it's just some smoke. Okay. Let's get off the road. Let's get off onto the road. Not let's get off the off-road. Uh, no, let's get back on the on-road because this looks like fun. Twitch questions! Wait, am I going in the right way anymore? I'll check in a second. Uh, bu -bu 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 Dan, what is your favourite moment in Sherlock? Ask Scamwick again. Oh, I'm really the same person twice. He must be my favourite. Um, oh, he's a good question ask. Or he's just the person who's asked the questions when I look. What was the question? Fuck, I've completely... Oh, uh, what was your favourite moment in Sherlock? I absolutely love the start of Series 3. The opening bit to Series 3 uh, is incredible. Uh, I'm not saying... If you haven't seen Sherlock, I don't want to ruin how Series 3 opens. But if you've seen Sherlock, you know, you know. It's a moment that really, you're just watching it and you go, Oh yeah, this is why I love this show. That whole opening section is just superb. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil it, because you should totally go watch Sherlock. How the fuck did I turn around on myself? Ha- How? You're shitting me. Oh my god. God fucking damn it. This is why humans can't be trusted. I thought I was going in roughly the same direction. Uh, I blame you. Beep I would beat my horn in, but I can't. Because I don't have a horn in this game. That's sad, that is. That's a really sad. They didn't give you a horn in a video game. It's a race I need one. How am I supposed to tell people to get out of my way? Um, did it, did it, did it, did it. How do you feel about your move? Oh, hang on. Positive. Was it worth the trouble? Absolutely. Have you seen how happy I am recently? Ah, it's moving was a good idea. I'm glad I did it. It's fun to be doing. It's fun to just be going. Ah, I want to do this thing. I'm young. Let's fucking do it. It's a good. It's a good thing. Do do what the fuck you want is what I'm trying to say. That's my advice for the day. This thing is really slowing down. I think it's completely knackered. How much smoke are we kicking out? We're kicking out. Do we normally kick out that much smoke? What if crashing it will reset me and I'll look a lot better? Okay, I want to just oh, gently clip that. Are we going the right way now? Yeah, okay, so I don't know why we went the wrong way. We went through the burning forests or something. Hmm, don't know. Um, did it? Uh, oh, I didn't know who asked that question. Shit, I gotta pay attention. Question first, right. Timmington, if you could go on a real life road trip, where would you go? Oh, fuck it, a tree. Damn you, Timmington! Um,. Where would I go on a real life road trip? Ah, maybe that's because we're around. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of places I'd like to go, but I, I don't like driving. I find it incredibly boring. Like, not driving myself, just being driven anywhere or going anywhere. It's, I find places incredibly dull. Uh, I don't know. I. I. Hmm. If I did anything, I'd do it, like, as a video, and then I could actually do work while I was, like, editing in the backseat while someone was driving. I could do like a, a general tour set of videos. I don't know, I'd like to go... Uh, Harley wants to say across Italy, but there's really little happening in Italy. Like, just for the food, really. Just stopping off and eating pasta and pizza and, you know, the greatest food ever made. 
Um, as long as you haven't put it in a restaurant where they just oil it to death. Seriously, I, I don't understand the Italian food in restaurants. Like, you make Italian food at home and it's wonderful and delicious. And you go to, like, true Italian cooking restaurant and it's just... They finish the meal and then go, Okay, now pour the gallon of olive oil on top of it, destroying all flavor and texture. Maybe I just go to shitty restaurants. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's, it's like, uh, maybe... I'd like to go somewhere with variety, so it's not just the same thing. So I wouldn't really want to go across America, because you either have small town or big city, and there's very little sort of going on in between, apart from a big fucking desert. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe across Europe is the more fun one. Maybe just, uh, fuck it, just... <laughs> my home to the shops. That's where I'd like to go to a road trip, like a Lego store. That'd be great. My house to a Lego store is the road trip I would like to do. It's true. I've got those weird little content of just not really going anywhere. That's why I'm like, oh, I don't need to go anywhere, do I? I'm happy here. I'm going to go across here. Uh, we're on the little back roads at the moment. There's no main roads, so I definitely think I'm going in the right direction. Not sure. I'm genuinely trying to think. Is there anywhere that I would just want to go on a road trip? I think it's the road trip that's right me. Is there anywhere I'd like to go? Um, I kind of want to go to New York. I've always wanted to visit New York just to see the size of it. Because New York has that really impressive scale. And the only other real place that has that is like Dubai. And I really don't want to fucking go to Dubai. Because Dubai has two things I, I, I don't like. And that's incredible heat and horrible memories from Spec Ops The Line. Um, there's a warehouse over there we can have a check on. Yeah, because Dubai is giant and terrifying. It is really a just scary place. Because it's just so hot and so tall. It just doesn't seem like a place I'd want to live. Or anyone should want to live. Uh, but New York seems like a... I don't know. It's like in all the films and stuff. So get out of my way. So it looks like a... Um, I don't know. I'd like, to, I'd like to go to New York. Maybe I could do a road trip across America then. Start in... No, because I'd just stop in Vegas. I kind of want to live in Vegas for a while. I like. I still like the idea of just living in Vegas. Like, because it, it's, it's just a stupid place. Las Vegas doesn't exist on anyone's moral spectrum. I died for some reason there. It's, it's just one of those... Whoa! See that jet fly past? I hit another rock. That's amazing. This jet just shot past. Um, yeah, so Vegas is this own little special magic place. Which I've always quite I've always quite liked. I was like, I'm, I, I kind of want to go to Vegas one day. I don't want to really go back to LA because it was... It was hot even when it was cool. I, see, I just don't like heat. And I know Las Vegas is the middle of the fucking desert. But you only ever go at night, so it should counteract it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Where else in the world do I really want to go? Edinburgh as well. I like going to Edinburgh. I like visiting Edinburgh. Oh shit, I've not been paying any attention. Uh, we're going okay. Where are we on the map now? How far are we through this grand thing? Oh, we're sort of chipping through the top of this one. Um, this is this is the start area. So I drove up there and it didn't take a huge amount of time. So we're probably about... Oh, an eighth of the way. And it started raining. Oh, lovely. Lovely of the jubblies. Uh, yeah. I like Edinburgh. If you've never been to Edinburgh, I think Edinburgh... Edinburgh, you know, like, you know a place you're going to end up. This, this is just the place you're like, I'm going to probably end up living there. I think Edinburgh is my one. I'm going to end up living in there because it's just the most beautiful city in the world. Whoa, look at the size of that view. The size of that view. You know what I fucking meant. Shit the bed. we got to cross this. Woohoo. Oh, that's great fun. Yeah, see, that's what I love about this game is it's just every now and then it's just like, oh, now you're going downhill for a mile. Oh, great. Cool. And we Oh, look at the ramp. Is that a ramp? I think that's a ramp. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim for it like it was a ramp. That's what you should do in life. Aim for your goals like you were at speed and they were a ramp. There's some life advice for you. Oh, no, it's in an awful place. Boop. Oh, it's just a thing I can ride along and then hit a fence. Push F to reset myself. Oh, that was a scary moment because I didn't have that reset yourself at your nearest helipad or base. We should be good. We should be good. I've got too far now. Too far to go back. Too far to go back. Right, let's get a question. Um, ba -ba 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 Dan, what do you think about the gay station 4? The fuck? I'm not hating everyone in the chat, it's a genuine thing. What? That was made to raise money? Oh, okay, someone like made it a PlayStation... I assume they got a PlayStation 3 or 4. Oh, 4, because it's gay station 4. Hang on, who asked that? That was Socks 1000 Um, <laughs> someone got... Did they, like, paint it or something? Like, probably Rainbow Girl, didn't they? And sold it to raise money. That's just funny. That, that, if it, cause that, you know what that means then? That a gay station is probably worth more than a PlayStation 4. Gay station 4s are worth more. Interesting. That's, that's, that's Wow, that's amazing. Is that like gay things are worth more than non-gay things? That's That would be like weird for the economy. You'd have like a gay Barbie and it would be worth way more. 
In fact, Lesbian Barbie would probably sell lots and for all the wrong reasons. Uh, <laughs> uh, life Partner Barbie! Oh, I buy the shit out of that. Um, oh, hang on. I'm gonna just ram into this guy to see if the physics is fun. Die! Ow, I got murdered completely. And he just stopped. Okay, let's not do that again. Beep beep, sorry. Oh, he has no driver. Nobody has any drivers, it's like burnout. So you can have massive accidents so they don't give a shit. Apart from uh, motorbikes and ATVs. They're fine. They have drivers and riders and stuff. That's a thought. I know Burnout um, uh, had... What's it? Burnout Paradise was rated 3+, even though it had massive car crashes and racing, because there were no drivers in the cars. That's how Burnout gets away with it. But what, what happened when they added the motorbike DLC? Did they actually change the rating of the game? Oh, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Because they distinctly had riders, the motorbike. It looked really weird driving a, a riderless motorbike. Maybe they were just models. Maybe they never came off. I can't remember. I'm going to look at more questions. Um, did it, who thinks Dan has crashed? Says Callum Bain, 99. I have crashed many times and it's completely unimportant. Uh, it's, it's a pressure off sort of road trip, this one. I'm literally, crashing was the point of it. Just getting from A to B is the point. Uh, how excited am I am for the new Civilization game? Asks uh, Adam Edwards with a Z, also an S. Uh, the new Civ game, kind of excited. Like, I never really got into Civilization, but I hugely got into Alpha Centauri. Like, I absolutely fucking adore Alpha Centauri. I've played a lot of- I still play a lot of Alpha Centauri. The drones need you. Um, etc. I did got- Someone got really leery at that, because I did a, um... I can't remember what it was. I, I mentioned the drones need you, they look up to you. As uh, I, I referenced Alpha Centauri somewhere, I can't remember where, it might have been Twitter or something. But someone was like, oh, calling us drones! <laughs> I was like, yeah, I gotta be careful with my references. And then I wasn't ever again. Uh, I hit two trees at once. That's impressive. Uh, I kind of excited, because going into space makes things more interesting. I don't know. Ooh, Thunderstorm. I don't know if it's more... If it's more Civ and less Alpha Centauri. But going into space is a good thing. And gets me more interested. Because you just do interesting stuff with it. Like, I don't really care about building. Oh, you've got some knights and stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. You got some knights at the round table, and ugh, I've got a space laser, and I've got to shoot worms. That's more fun. It's just, it just is. That's math. Space laser plus worms equals more fun than knight plus fight other knight. That's just two knights. Two wrongs don't make a knight. But um, Tish, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's get on questions. All right, this looks like a pretty clear place to get questions. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's uh, what's happening? More Factorio, please. Series, no. Um, it, I'd be very boring in a series like that. Although, you, you know, that'd be like the Rollercoaster Tycoon one. It's a bit less creative than Rollercoaster Tycoon. It's a bit more, sort of, efficiency and going back over a lot of stuff is how I'm currently playing it. I might do an update of what I've done video, but I don't think I'll do a series on it. Because I, I, for my series, my live series, not, oh, because they're going to be my live series. My complaints are going to be the stuff I do live, just so I can kill two birds with one stone. But, um, I want to play games that you just can't really get anymore. Like, obscure and hard-to-find games are the ones that I really want to cover. Because there's no point in me doing a, a series on a game. You can just go and play yourselves. I mean, unless it is something creative, like sport, and all those sort of things, you can do it yourself. But mm, even then, I know, I don't really want to do that sort of thing. Uh, I, I kind of like the idea of being... Just doing the obscure stuff. Obscure stuff that I really like. You know, not Simpsons and fucking run again. Um, I may not have done any episodes of that for a while. Or I may have brought them back by this point. I can't remember. It's been a while. Ooh, that was a crash! Looks up from Twitch. Right, okay. Uh, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Questions. Dan, oranges or melons? Uh, just, just in general, oranges or melons? Well, uh, that's actually a tricky question. Tricky question, because when it comes to the fruit, I don't really know. I'm not a huge melon fan, and I'm not a huge orange fan. Oranges are far too fucking fiddly to eat. But when it comes to juice, uh, juice is my jam. And jam is my, also my jam. But no, juice is my... Hey, when we come to jam, oh, melon jam every time. Orange is marmalade, that's disgusting. But, um... Oh, shit, am I going the right way still? Oh, bollocking twat munchers! Why, why, why? How do I do this? Oh, have I just undone all my... No, I think I crossed over there. I think when it resets me, I've just got to make sure I'm driving in the right direction. That would be an incredible point. Do I have to go back up here? Yes. Ass. Ass. Oh, I'm not paying attention. It's going to be death for me. Um... No, orange melons and stuff. What, what was I saying? Yeah, fruit. I like juice. And watermelon juice. Have you get nice watermelon juice? I don't know, that's not really melons, but fuck it, they have roughly the same name. Much nicer than orange juice. So watermelons, on average, win. Across the three categories of juice and jam, melons take that. Me it's a melon victory. It's a melon victory. Water victory, you might say, if you were punny. 
like me. Uh, I'm going to try and stick to the road. I'm going to find a straight bit so I can get another question from Twitch. Um, right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Hang on. Find a straight. That looks straight enough. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, who is Matt? Says Imcloud. Matt's the one who's on the forums and not the forums, the subreddit and the chat and unofficial places and official places and just make sure that you all behave and keeps everyone happy and fruity and stuff. He's, 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 that's what he's there for. I mean, I, I can't manage 1.7 million people. It's just impossible with 1.8, wherever he is now, I can't remember. I just can't do it anymore. It's too many people. I'm one people. I can't manage that full time. It would be a full time job to manage that, so I just hired someone to do that full time. Which makes sense, really. You know, it's, it's just a logical course of action. When you get to a certain point, I recommend getting a community. I mean, like, the, the amount of people it takes to run this channel now, because I do all the, the fucking about and making the videos, and then everything else just gets delegated, because I don't want to do it. Somebody else can do it, and it makes it way more efficient, because otherwise I'd be doing even less videos trying to work out business stuff and tax stuff. Ooh. Signing tax forms and just going, what, is, what does any of this mean? I don't know. I don't know, because... No, no contracts are ever written in human speak. They're all written in evil lawyer bastard speak. And that's... It, no, lawyers just made their own language up to communicate with each other. That's that's true. They made their own language up so nobody else can do it. So lawyers have to lawyer in their lawyery places. God, that's bright at the moment. Right, am I still going a straight line? Yes, we're currently in dry rigs. Uh, zoomy, 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 zoomy. Ah, see, this, is, this thing I'm worried about is there's that ravine. It's cutting across here. I should be okay to get past it. But there's that other one. There's roads going across it, though. We'll see. We'll see what happens when we come to it. Might have to go around it or something. I don't know if there's... there's there might be bridges that aren't on the map. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if you can go near... I don't know how the game works, because I've literally never driven this far. I tend to stick around... I tend to just go around in fucking circles. Uh, right, questions. Woo! Uh, right, keep your eyes on the road, Dan, says 10 Mighty Wolf. Yeah, I should have done. Um, right. Uh, Matt has a sweet podcast. Dan, you don't have one, says Nimbus Twitch. Yeah, Matt has his own little podcast. I was the guest on the first one. It's fucking hysterical. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. I, 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 Matt said he was putting it on iTunes, but to get it on iTunes, somebody has to like listen to the whole thing to make sure it's not evil or anything. And so for the whole thing, I'm just constantly saying Al-Qaeda. Just because I just wanted someone, and I was like, how like doing that is the worst job in the world. Oh my god, it's just going completely mental. Let's look away from the sun for a while. Like, it's like, oh, who would do that for a job? What kind of sad, sick twat would have to listen to podcasts on iTunes for a living? Uh, but it still got on there, so I failed. But that's fun. I don't have a podcast because I'm doing a million other things. With this, you know, gaming channel, live streaming, the secret projects I'm working on, making a game. That's changing. That's changing a lot recently. I've sort of got bored making games, but not... I'm not very... I'm not a long project person. I'm lots of short project person. That's just what I do best. I'm like, here's an idea. Let's fucking do it. And then I just do it. You know, I'm not like, here's an idea. Let's start planning. That's not me at all. I find that very difficult. And so... Ah, oh, fuck. I knew we did something in here. All right. Have we been spun around? No. Okay. So I, I, I kind of... I'm, I'm going away from the idea of spending a lot of time making a game. And instead, get, blaming the game down to its very, 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 very basic core ideas... And then, like, just releasing it when it's sort of like a working prototype. And just making loads of working prototypes instead of making, like, full-on games. Because I think that's more my thing. I do have a few ideas for, like, full games. But I need, like, whole teams to do that. So, well, that'll be at a later date. I've got two games in mind that I really want to make that are big-scale projects. But for that, I, would, I wouldn't actually make the damn things. I'd be more of a producer kind of thing. I'd be creative director kind of thing. But I want to prove that I can make games first. So I'm making some prototypes and stuff. I'm actually backing out of programming as well, because it's a lot... Programming's so big, and it's like when you go, Oh, what's your favourite book? Oh my god, look at this. Ah! It's like, what's your favourite book? And they just... You can have an option of, like, every book ever. I, I, I'm I, like, ah! It's like, but what's your favourite Harry Potter book? Oh, I could give you an answer to that. It's probably the fourth one. I think I'm a fourth one kind of guy. Um, but if you're like, what's your favourite book ever? Uh, uh, or what's, what's your favourite thing? Your favorite food just is too broad, and programming's much like that because you can just do fucking anything. So I've actually I've sort of left Unity behind for a while, and I'm looking at other like simpler programs, like simpler game design stuff. And I, I can't remember what the name of it is, but I found sort of ones where you sort of do it instead of by programming sort of way. It's still like functions and if statements and all that sort of thing. What the fuck was that? Was that a dinosaur skeleton? Holy shit! 
Um, yes, but instead of just being ham instead of just going, oh, it's a million, you have to do whatever the fuck you want and type it all in stuff. It's more, you still have to kind of cope. It limits you. And like, using like, create what's this like? Creativity is like a response to limitation or something. I can't fucking remember. But it's that sort of thing. It's like, the more I'm limited, the more creative I feel I can be. So, while I'm starting off this whole game thing, I'm going to be just making these little projects in a very restricted environment. And I think that'll teach me a lot more than if I could just start and build fucking anything from scratch and from anything from the beginning. I think it's a, a better course of action for me based on who I am. I think, anyway. It's also, it's just a lot more, because I'm from the YouTuber, I'm, I get more, I make a thing and then I put it out there and it's there. And it's, that's like, you know, a day at max, like three days for an edited one. So it's, I have that really fast turnover and a game just doesn't really have that. You know, a game is very much a, well, keep going. This will take you three years. Wow, three years? Like, to, all told, this, this YouTube channel is three years worth of work. But I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to, like, wait three years and then I release a channel of a thousand videos. I like the drip feed more and I kind of want to bring that into my games. Um, yeah, games plural. I got loads of ideas and, like, loads of interesting... Like, if you've ever, like, played experimental gameplay stuff, that's where I'm kind of going. It's not just going to be, here's a platformer with the guy called Dave. Oh, it's random. It's all random lol. I'm going to... Oh, hang on. Am I going the right way? Yes, we're approaching the ravine. Um, it's going to be a lot more sort of... Here's an idea that I think might work as a game. Does this work as a game? And you either go yes or no. And it's, it's more... It's more fun using not programming. You know, it's still programming. It's not programming by actually typing out the code. It's more... It's just simpler. And being simpler works. Just really works for me. I like being simple. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Apparently we're approaching a ravine. And so this, this, this... Holy shit, I think this must be it here. Yes! That is undoubtedly a very big ravine. Holy shit, there's a road down there. Uh, I kind of want to see if we can get down there really nice and slow. And get on that road and just follow the road over. Because that would be a cool thing to drive through. Oh my god. Oh, slow, 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 slow. Handbrake. 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 All brakes. Uh-oh. Brace, brace, brace. Oh, it considered me failure. Okay, I don't think I can just leap off down there. I can leap off and it won't fuck me up until I hit a thing. But, um, no, just fuck it. Let's just leap off. <laughs> leap off and see what happens. As long as I hit the road, I'll be fine. Here we go. Geronimo! Whee! Oh, clipped a thing. Fine, 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 fine. Oh! Made it! Yeah! Always leap off when necessary. Out of my way. So yeah, that was fun. Um, that's what I'm doing with my games. It, it, the, the game that was how to job. Like, uh, I have this thing. I always see this problem and I hit it myself. Like, whenever you see an indie guy doing their first game or something, they constantly, like, add ideas and they add and they add and they add and they add and they add. And they never sit the fuck down and go, why the fuck did I add all this shit? It's pointless. Like, the whole how to job bit, the office side, because I, I kind of thought we don't have enough games setting offices, so I came up with the idea for the game, but it's not necessary anymore, because the game I came up with. So I need to come up with a game that fits that concept of how to job. I, I, I need to switch some things around, basically. Whoa! Fucking hell's bells! That was a nice jet there. Um, so, yeah. Things are changing in how I'm making games. I like how... You see, I, maybe I'll do it the sort of the Terry Cavanaugh style. So I think I've said that I liked his style before, and I think it, it will work for me. And that you release little prototypes and fun things, and then the ones that people really like, and the ones that you really like, you can make into then fully-fledged games. I think that works better, uh, just all told, I think. That's a better way of doing it, because then everyone gets a much... A much funkier time is had by all. Whoa, what the shit happened here? This fucking thing got blown up. Oh, no, it was all just... It's destroyed by wind. Extreme wind, excuse me. Yeah, it's just desolate. It's all just desolate and horrific. It's like The Last of Us cart. That's what this is. The Last of Cart. That's what this game is. Anyway, that was a very long answer to a very short question. I can't remember what the question was. But yay! That wasn't even answered. That was just a tangent to a very short question I answered. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to have a quick drink. So brace yourself for silence. Okay, that wasn't the drink. I was just seeing if you could brace yourself properly. What well on. Mmm. Oh, very warm. Summer. Don't do summer. Don't like summer. Summer is warm. Warm is bad. Uh, it's very it's starting to get very warm in this room. Because I have to shut everything up to uh, start recording so you don't get any like background noise or anything. Uh, right. We had some stuff. Uh, uh, the fucking hell. Uh, Danny1953 BFC188 asks, What is your opinion on the situation of Blackpool FC after 35 million has been taken away from the club? Good. 
Good. Because you don't need 35 million to kick a ball around a football pitch. You don't, you don't, you don't need the money at all, ever. It's not a thing you need. Uh, I'm gonna go on him. It, I don't know what this situation is. I know nothing about this sort of situation. It could be it was taken by people for bombs, but I don't know. Like, I, what? Oh, we value people wrong in society at large. We just do. It's just people are just valued wrong. It's like teachers get paid shit and then are told, oh, your wages are being frozen for fucking ever. Ha ha, lol. And then people, twat munchers like me in entertainment, are like, oh, millions of pounds threat. Well, not me. I don't have millions of pounds thrown in my direction, but you know the sort of actors and shit like that. It's like, you bajillions of pounds. Bajillions of bajillions of pounds. No, it's wrong. It's backwards. It's the wrong way around. This is why I try and release as much of my shit for free. Because your money is best spent elsewhere. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very... See, this is what I want. You know how Humble Bundle does, like, when you buy, you get to control all the sliders, and you say, I want to give this much for charity or this much to the developers? I want to do that with my tax money that I pay. Because I would pay my tax money to mostly teachers and doctors. And that would be fucking it. Roads and fucking military and shit is like, eh. No, that can just piss off. It's like that, that horrible thought of, like, the more money you earn, the more innocent civilians you've probably accidentally killed because you've donated that much money to the military and on average by that much they spend, this is how many much they spend on killing people. Hmm. It's like, because the, the, do you know, like, um, if you're, because I keep, I keep linking what's his face, uh, English guy, the last week tonight, John Oliver, there we go. I keep linking John Oliver videos because John Oliver is like, I'm so, so sorry we actually gave America John Oliver. We need him back. He's amazing. But um, he did a, a thing where he said that the uh, he was talking about uh, executing prisoners, which America still does, because it's a, it's it's like you're one of the only countries left, like Syria, Iran, and China are like the only other places that do it. So you know, come on, you'll get here eventually. But the cost to execute one prisoner is the same cost as it took to make the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. So it's insane. The amount of money spent on just murdering people is insane and it's not a deterrent and it doesn't work and you only have it because creepy terrifying places exist where Jesus says stuff I don't know how you can read the Bible and come away especially the New Testament and come away with the message that you should murder people that do crimes because that's not what it says that always confused me like the Old Testament fine because the Old Testament is God is just this massive knob who comes along and just shits everything up and is like I made everything now do what the fuck I say no free will, ah! And then the New Testament is Jesus, who's essentially just the 1970s hippie, coming along going, peace and love, yeah! And that's generally it. But yeah, the the hope that it's, oh fuck, I've shut myself up. The, you just should ignore all the Old Testament, and the Bible's a pretty awesome book, really. I mean, there's still some shit in it, and no one gets, women, if you're not a, a, a straight white, oh, non white guy, straight guy, because it was fucking, I always get this, you have these beautiful statues of Jesus, this giant 60 foot tall white man, oh I'm glorious, look at my beard. I'm like, yes, well the average height was 5 foot 2 or something, and he would have been brown and thick and heavy, because he was a carpenter's son. But no, no, you have your giant creepy statues. Um, <laughs> it's just, he would look fuck all like what you think he looked like, he would have been this short brown dude. Short brown fat dude, basically, with just like huge muscles, that's Jesus. You know, with a just giant thick beard, but no, 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 it's fine, white dude, why not? Uh, so you can relate. So you can relate to God or something. Yes. Anyway, what was I saying? I can't remember. That was a question about Blackpool FC, wasn't it? Fuck yeah, that's a tangent. Take a question about football and turn it into America. Why the fuck are you still killing people? I mean, really. Really. What the fuck? Come on, come over to the civilized world. It's great. We don't hang people anymore. We have a queen. She's awesome. She's on our money. You can have her. Okay, we don't use her. Let's bring a bomber with you. That's nice. Okay. Um, whoop. Oh yeah, because oh, I remember how we got there. Okay, I was just following my thought back. It's all the bombing and stuff. Yay. Drone warfare's fun. I'm not going to get into that. Let's ask it. Let's, let's not bog this thing down as we drive through a burning wreckage of America. Let's go through. <laughs> let's get a, a fun question. Uh, oh my god. Hang on. Right. Uh, the most melancholy says, Dan, I'm going to bed. Will you read me a bedtime story? Yes, I will. Um, there once was a man named Christopher, uh, and he decided that he wanted to be a chef. And society at large said no, and so he killed himself. The end. Yeah. Dark twist at the end. <laughs> what I'm trying to say there is, is, is don't be a chef. 
<laughs> I don't know, you know when you start talking, you're like, well, I don't know where this is going to go, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's, it's basically, the, the moral of that story is be what you want to be and fuck society, really. They're just a bunch of twats who are, who are clinging on to old ways. It's, 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 it's great, isn't it? We're like, we should, things should be the same as they've always been. You are aware you're telling me that through Twitter. Twitter is a thing that's been around for, you know, less time than an eight-year-old. It's, it's not an old thing at all, and it's completely revolutionized most of news media, and has changed so many things, and you're telling me we should be the same through this new medium. You're an idiot. Go away forever. Ooh, there's a white thing over there. What's the white thing? It's smoke. Ah, oh, something's on fire. Oop, splash, that woke me up. What's my driver like? I think I customized him slightly, so I gave him a little mask on his face, because I thought we'd be going through a lot of dust. Yeah, there you go, I gave him a little, I made him look a bit motor stormy. That's not, <laughs> motor stormy, yes. That, you know what I fucking meant. Right, okay. Uh, na, 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 na. Dan, are you excited for any of the upcoming games announced the latest E3? Says J dot C. Um, spelt with J A Y D O T C E. Uh, not really. Something. Like, this is the year of remakes. This this really is the year. Like, my favorite game so far has been Oddworld New and Tasty, I believe, because I can't remember anything else that's come out. That's a big fucking hole! Hang on a second! J dot C! I'll get to you in a minute! Reverse! That's broken. Where the fuck did that come from? Okay, yeah, it's the year of remakes. So, like, the other games I'm really excited for, like, Binding of Isaac. Uh, hang on, I've got to check the map to know which way to go. Oh, my God. Uh, we'll have to go up this way and hopefully... I could try and drop down onto it again if I go full speed. Maybe it'll survive. That's a really big drop, that one. Oh, Nelly. Oh, good bounce, good bounce, good bounce, good bounce. Good bounce, good bounce, good bounce, good bounce. Good bounce. Smooth. Right, up the other side. Go, go, go. Keep the momentum. Keep the speed. Not going to work. Not going to work at all. A band of that plan. Finding of Isaac. That's another remix coming out. The only other game I'm really excited for. Oh, that killed me. It's like a beat you're not supposed to drive down or something. Uh, the only other bit that... Um, or the other game I'm really looking forward to is probably just GTA on PC. This is really not a huge amount. I, I, there's probably some stuff I'm forgetting. But there's a lot of stuff that I'm excited for that's just... Either going to come out on early access first, so I won't play it very much, or it's you know not coming out properly. You know, not, I mean this year, not properly. It's not coming out this year, probably. You know, it's going to be early access. It's not coming out this year entirely. I don't think No Man's Sky is going to be coming out soon, and that's probably what I'm most excited for. Um, Little Big Planet Three, I'm quite excited for, but it, it, I kind of hope they would get into sort of more third person by now. But I'm still pretty excited for that. And the Rainbow Six game that's multiplayer focused, but Still, it looks pretty entertaining. It's that short rounds that I like. I do like having short round gaming, so I'm quite excited by that. Uh, it looks something. It looks like it's something different. Holy crap! It's like a fucking lake of ash up here. Cool, and there's just one burning tree. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's those sort of things. It wasn't anything that particularly made me go, "Oh, I really want to play that," because um, I don't know. I'm currently playing a lot of PS2 stuff, I'm, and games really were kind of really inventive back then. In fact, I'm not trying. I'm not really spending a lot of time playing games outside of work. I'm spending a lot of time making them and designing them and trying out new programs to do that sort of thing. So it's very stra a very strange time in my life. I mean, actually, I'm also spending a lot of time on Lego because I fucking love Lego. Uh, whoo, up there, up that mogul. Very mogly, very mogly here. Oh, fuck. Sideways, go sideways. Always go sideways. Over that way. And then over... Oh, fuck. In fact, the only other thing I've been doing is spending a lot of time watching MasterChef Australia. Because that's an incredible TV show. If you, you must Chef Australia, it just it's it's because it's you know how shit all reality TV and competitions like that are. Oh no 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 no! Oh god, because it, it is. It's just a colossal pile of. There's always there's you just need a, just a solid asshole and you need idiots and then you know the two and two come together. If they're singing, juggling, whatever the shit, it all just collapses in on itself eventually. But um. Master of Australia is genuinely a show about like the very best chefs, and I'm quite I'm quite into food. I think it should be. Uh, so like just watching like a TV show that's like actually about the best of food, and it, unlike like the UK Master which is just a boring competition, Master of Australia lasts for ages and is like 60 episodes a season, and actually has them gradually. You see them evolve as chefs and stuff, and you see what they learn. It's fantastic. It's like oh god, there's another fucking ravine coming up. It's proper. It's not just sort of. Um, just the cooking and stuff. It's probably like character development and stuff. You see some people open up. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It still gets a little bit kind of trying too hard to pull at your heartstrings, but you know. Ah, it's an absolutely wonderful show. So I, sp I just recently finished watching that and Laura should have won. Um, the. <laughs> 
Like for every year that I've watched it, my favourite is always won, and this year they didn't. I was like, ah, fuck! Actually, I thought it would be, for the two of you that watched Master Australia, I thought it would be Tracy, who looks just like my GTA character, by the way. I'm going to say that, that there was a character who looked, character, a person who looked just like my GTA character. I thought it would be her versus Amelia, and it wasn't, and neither of them got to the finale. But Tracy looks just like my GTA character. It's fucking terrifying. Um, in fact, that's probably the only reason I like it. Look at these poles just popping in. Oh, this is this is getting deserty now. Uh, are we going the right way? We are going the right way. We've got another ravine coming up. Crash into God knows what the fuck there. Anyway, more questions. How's to it? Twitch has started deteriorating into other people have started talking to each other now. The people are making friends. It's going well. It's going awesome. Uh, right, hang on. Let's have a look. Um, what's that? Uh, cut. Oh. Kyle and 96. Dan, reading this chat is just like texting and driving. Look at the damn road you man, man. I'm fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I did genuinely look back and I was in midair. No, it's it's fine. If I get this straight, this should be this should be fine. Uh, what are you doing? How's my hand holding up? Asks uh, uh, Adam Wards again. Uh, nice. Going well so far. Uh, a bit sweaty. It's very warm in here. And uh, I'm, I changed. I did change controls. Because like, this was mapped to WSAD for me and I've changed it to the D-pad. Actually, space is accelerating in the original setting of this, but I've changed it to the, sorry, the, the arrow keys, because it's just a lot more comfortable. Um, da -da 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 -da. Favorite movie? See, don't ask me things like favorite, because it's just too many answers. It's like, I have several favorite, oh, hang on, who asked for favorite movie? Chilla, 9697. Uh, someone who was born on the 31st of December, or January 1st, and doesn't quite know. Um, the, see, favorite movie, it's just too, it's too broad. Too broad of a question. Because I have lots of favorite movies, like the I have like a top set of movies, but it constantly changes depending on the mood I'm in at the moment. So I absolutely love Back to the Future is always pretty much my number one movie. But the Love Actually I think is incredible. Scott Pilgrim vs the World is an exceptional film. The Lego Movie, have you seen the Lego Movie? That is incredible. It's just fantastic. It's just insane. Um, this is a ravine. Ah, oh, this is a small ravine. Okay, so darkness indicates death. Nice. I think I'm with exceptional stats up there. Um, I watched that twice in a row when I last watched it. But, um... Huh. Yeah, favorite, I can't do really favorite movie. One of them. Cloverfield as well. I really like Cloverfield. Not a horror fan, but uh, I think Cloverfield sort of sheds a lot of its horror weight. And is a lot interesting. Because I I, I, I... I I love monster movies. I haven't actually seen Godzilla yet. I completely forgot it was in cinemas. I completely forgot to go see it. It's, it just slipped my mind. I'll get it on Blu-ray or whatever. But um, I, I really like Cloverfield because it's got that... I like things that don't follow the lead character. Because like I, I ingest a lot of media. A lot and lot and lot of media. As most of you do now. And constantly seeing someone become the hero and all that sort of thing. It gets kind of grating. I want to see I want to see the lives of the little people running around. Because everyone's got fantastically interesting lives. You may think, oh, I'm boring. But yeah, you're not. You're tied into something amazing and huge and... There's, there's those stories to tell. Like, I love Cloverfield because it wasn't always the president going, Oh no, we have to kill this thing and launching the jets and stuff and all that sort of thing. It was very strange to just to see a few people who were involved with it. None of which really got out alive, possibly. Uh, but you still get the whole story of the monster. And it's great, you know. Really, superb film. I, 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 it makes you feel a little sick watching it. But you know, it's a really good little film. It would have sucked if it was in 3D. Like if that was films, I don't want a sequel because you, then it just unveils too much. I like that it was the little bits of information we've got was nice. Uh, hang on a second, this round before I look into more questions. Whoa, big jet flew out of that tree. Jets have taken to nesting in trees, it seems. We're going in a straight line. I have to check that more. How far have we got in? So, oh my god, we're about a third of the way. Maybe this is going to turn into possibly three hours or so if we have to go around a lot of stuff. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go for some more questions. This, it has died down, the Twitch being a little bit. Oh, fuck. Oops. It's like when I did the Desert Bus video. I did a lot of uh, uh, asking... Ah, has that spun me around? No, it hasn't. I did a lot of asking questions to Twitter. By the end of it, it was just me, all alone, going mad by myself. Um, whoa, nearly belly. Nearly... Shit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Dan, what was the happiest time of your life? Again, very broad, from Spartan. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, that's not your password. Um... Oh, there's like so many to choose from. I think that's a good thing. That's a sign of a well life lived. Live life. Life lived. Well life lived. I'll tell you one that's a standout because I like quite going back to was there's a there was a moment where um it's, it's, it was it's a it's a total nerd off, but it was the, the Doctor Who experience. I think I've said this story before. Uh, the problem with the thousand videos, you're gonna start repeating stuff. But it was the Doctor Who experience, which is sort of like a it's a half museum, half sort of like 
like 10, 15 to 20 minute sort of walk around of a Doctor Who thing with Daleks and stuff happening. You have to run through corridors and that sort of thing. It's good fun. Go through a forest of weeping angels, etc. Um, it's, it's kind of good fun. It's a little bit low-key, but it's British and sort of thing, so... It's not American where they could do like the Star Trek experience kind of stuff, which I'm so regret I never heard of until it closed down. Um, so it's that sort of uh, thing. But there's a moment where the TARDIS appears, because the TARDIS isn't there for a bit, and the, the Doctor on screen gets the TARDIS to appear, and it does materialise in the room you're in. Very impressively done. Uh, and uh, the doors open, and it squeaks open, and because of the way it's set in the darkness, it looks like it's just there, and it makes it look like when you go in, you're in a TARDIS. It's kind of, it's almost Matt's TARDIS, it's just, it's just slightly smaller. And it, it looks like a proper, full-on TARDIS, but the door actually has a little squeak when it opens, and everything is just... It's just absolutely perfect. But when I stepped in there, and it felt like stepping into a small box that was then into the huge room. Ah, oh, it was just one of those moments where, like, your brain just gets confused. It's like, you know, when you're sleepy and some shit happens, and your brain's like, well, that's a monster! Oh, it's no, we're fine. But it was that sort of moment of it just, my brain kind of went, you're really in the TARDIS for a second. And this little spark happened, and I don't think I'll ever feel it again, because it was like fiction becoming real. Like, because your favourite fiction is always the one the world you really want to go and live in, probably. So it's what you want to exist in and love and be like, wow, this is amazing. But it was that little spark. And it, it was just this moment of, holy shit. And it, it went quickly, but I always remember that. I always remember that little spark of, holy fucking shit, I'm in the TARDIS. It was a cool little moment. That's a cool moment. That's one of the happiest moments. Uh, killing my ex-wife? That was a great moment. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had done an appropriate joke for all. I thought I'd, I'd bring that there. Wee! Are we going the right way? Try to keep having to open the map. But, um, I think it's necessary. There's a really big cloud of shit happening over there. Look at that. Should we go visit what that is? See what's happening in that big old cloud of shit? It might just be another burning uh, foresty thing, but they're normally quite small plumes. We'll go see what this is. Could be, it could be a giant monster roaming the plains. Could be awful weather. Could be a tornado. It could just vanish when I get close to it, like this one did. Ah, oh, goddamn, it's just a burning forest. Uh, we haven't found any crashed planes. I know I totally find crashed aircraft quite frequently. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh well, just another, just another burning forest. Just another hopeless wasteland of wood. Ah, uh, let's have a look at question. Dan, drive blind for one minute. Says the torrent. Sorry, the underscore torrent. Okay, eyes closed, holding forward. Let's see what happens. I distinctly sound like I've crashed. Eyes open, I've crashed. There you go, that was a minute. Uh, see, it's either I'll definitely crash or I won't. There's very little... Uh, actually, no, screw it. There you go. I, I, eyes closed. Let's see, let's see how long I go with my eyes closed until I crash. Um, so I'm still going. Oh, that was a thump. Did I hit something? No, ah, that was another thump. I think I'm still going. Oh, big one. Oh, oh was that some air? Did I hear some air? Still just genuinely going. Oh! Still going! Still going! This is going well! Probably. Oh, that sounded like a crash. Yeah, I crashed. Oh well. Oh, there you go. It was a minute of not saying or doing anything. I hope it was entertaining as it was for me. Um, two roads going across it. Whoa! A little bit of air there. I can't this just this. This map changes quite frequently. It changes frequently enough for you to not really notice. It changes, like, sneakily enough for you to not really notice that it's changed. It's not just something like, just it cuts off, like, old Minecraft style. Just something like, now you're in this one. Now you're obviously in this biome. It's nice. Ooh, ooh. See, this is the side of the trees where they didn't burn down. There's only a few of them, because some of them are still burnt down until you get up there. And then it's, uh, it's a bit more trilly. The color palette starts changing. And now the light's killing my eyes again. Ah, joy. More questions! Because... Nothing to say. Hang on, let's get to a bit where I can actually see. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Ooh, bounce off that tree. Big old downhill moment. Oh, sweet mercy for God. Um, all right, there we go. We're making it. We're getting there. We're going. We're going. We're going. Oh, good grief. There we go. Nice. Right. Uh, oh fuck. So I keep looking down. And I'm like, oh, what's happening? Shit. 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 Okay, oh, that looks like a straight bit. Okay, look quick. Um, how long will the bid be? Oh, it's, it's done. Duh. It's, it's just, it's just the thing. Whoop! Fuck! 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 More skeletons murdered. Oh, this isn't, this isn't a great bit to ask questions on because it's just so busy. Oh, this is like a nice empty bit. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, make. Oh, oh, oh! You just sped up. What the fuck? I was about to. Sorry. I was just. Okay. <laughs> 
So, right, what I, I didn't tell anyone what I was playing when I told them in the Twitch chat. I just said I could be playing anything. And a lot of people said to me to do stuff like, Ooh, you should drive through some red lights. Pretty beyond driving through just red lights, my friends. I'm... I am... I am... Oh, God, going the wrong fucking way. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Course correction. We actually just about to leave this place. Should be cool. Hang on, I'm just going to go over there and go around a little bit. There's... It's very flat here. Could you imagine like a Fallout game being this side? Because this is what Beth Bethesda, I believe, made the biggest game ever. Not Bethesda. Whoever made Fallout before they were called Bethesda, if they weren't called Bethesda at that point, just made it past that truck. Because there was, wasn't there? There was the one of the. It was like the size of England or something, because it was surrounding generated terrain with fuck all in it. But that's probably the biggest game ever. Lots of games go. We're the biggest game ever, but then really aren't. Just another thing that happens. Uh, what do you think of the Marvel movies in the shared movie TV universe? Says Arcane Flame Pony. Why would you set a pony on fire? It doesn't matter. Um, I mixed, but I think mixed is good. Um, because you need mixed. You don't want everything to be done by the same person, so it all becomes very bland and boring. I like having that mixture of stuff. That was a really interesting set of twigs there. Um. I don't like the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. I think I found it incredibly dull, so I didn't watch more than like two or three episodes. It just, it was very standard generic TV. Like, we're in a real golden age of TV at the moment, a lot of people are saying, and we fucking are. TV is really amazing. Like, really fucking amazing. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it doesn't compare really. It just feels like a standard generic American show. Nothing really special to it. I kind of like the movies. I don't go and see all of them. I only really go and see the ones I like. I'm going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I see everything with Iron Man in it because I fucking love Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Thor, I can sort of leave. I haven't seen the second one. Captain America, I quite like, but I haven't seen the second one. Um, what other ones are there? There's, there's, uh, the Avengers movie itself, I quite enjoyed. Uh, is this the right way? Oh, fuck's sake. Um, at least we're going south. The, I really did quite like the Avengers. I'll see the second one. Especially because James Spader's in it. And James Spader is fucking incredible in everything he ever does ever. If you've never seen Boston Legal, you are missing out on exceptional television. Um, oh, and, uh, here, he's in the blacklist. I haven't seen the blacklist. I may be missing out on more exceptional television. Uh, whoop. Yeah, fuel. I could probably now buy a monster truck. I think they're about 5,000 fuel. That'd be interesting. Hmm. I just like how varied this is. Like, I, I actually have some control. I'm not just following a standard boring path. Which was extreme in Desert Bus and not so much in the other ones. Ah, oh, piss. Maybe one day I'll try and walk across Skyrim or something. Eh, uh, probably not. I'll mold out the giant spiders and then I'll walk across Skyrim. Oh, see, if this camera wasn't going mental, hang on. Let me just see if that settles it, if I just push escape. It's slightly settled it a bit. It's very beautiful. They got a good colour contrast with the... Instead of orange and blue, it's very orange and purple, which I quite like. But they... You know, it's just that they allow it to go very orange at sunsets, and unfortunately, it does just when the moon comes up, it just clicks onto purple. A slight nice translation, a transition there would be good. Headlights on. Um, I was saying something. Yeah, James Spader, probably. Yeah, Boston Legal, such a good TV show. If you ever seen, like, because a lot of TV shows sort of like collapse as they go on. Okay, let's talk about TV for a while. A lot of TV shows genuinely collapse as they go on unless they're like steered into new places. So Doctor Who survives because it is literally every two or... If you don't like it, watch again in two or three years because it'll be an entirely different show because there'll be... The entire cast has changed. You know, it's an entire different tone to it. It's it's an entirely different show and that's why Doctor Who is, has been going on for so long. Um, Star Trek's pretty... I, I like Star Trek stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, modern stuff. Community I loved apart from the series where Dan Harmon was in charge because... Out when Dan Harmon was in charge, it just felt like every other standard comedy it didn't feel like anything special. The concept episodes were just done on things that were popular, not things that were loved. Um, but when Dan Harmon came back, it mostly was superb and brilliant, and it felt like Dan Harmon was back. Uh, Dan Harmon is a, is a genius, and the guy he works with on Rick and Fucking Morty. What a show! Like Rick and Morty, the first two or three episodes, like because if you've never seen it, go watch it. The first two or three episodes you'll hate. You will not like because it takes a little while to get used to the guy's voice patterns because he's kind of annoying with it. That's fine. Like the the character of Rick is very his constant say of Morty and stuff. It took me a while to get into it, but now I can watch the episodes. They are fantastically funny. It's it's a it's a it's a hard sci-fi, so it's a proper play on sci-fi. It's following its own rules and actually sets its own rules out and stuff. They're very so they're not loose rules. They're proper rules, but they're very big rules, like multiverse and stuff like that. But it, it sort of has continuity and. There's, there's a moment I don't particularly want to spoil, but I think it's a good idea to sell the show with it. So yeah, okay, so there's there's an episode where Rick keeps fucking up uh, uh, this potion. 
This part, it was a love potion that he made because the, the for the the kids. So Rick's at the basically it's it's Doc Brown and Marty. That's what Rick and Marty is. Uh, Rick and Morty, sorry. That's basically what the, the play on is. So it's it's the the, the this mad scientist is even more mad and now a drunkard, and the little kid who he has adventures with essentially. It's a whole fucking mountain on the left there. Um, so you've got you've got um, that you know sort of how that would work and stuff. So he's got this. Uh, he makes this uh, love potion for the kid. Uh, and he, the kid sprays it on a girl. Oh, let's go through there. Because she's got the flu, it mutates and she starts going weird and everyone starts becoming like zombies that just want Morty. And then so he tries to fix it and cocks it up and keeps trying to fix it and keeps cocking it up. And the solution to the episode is that he just... They jump to a, a parallel universe where... It's, it's, it's such a fantastic thing. They jump to a parallel universe where uh, he actually managed to fix it, but then they died shortly afterwards and then they take the place of the Rick and Morty that died. And, you know, for a lot of shows, that's a fantastic twisty ending. But then a few episodes later, they go back to it because uh, you have a, a little talk between uh, Morty and his sister where he's actually, he, he talks about how he's, because he freaks out. Morty freaks out that he's in a different universe. Everything's the same, but he knows it's not kind of thing. And he freaks out, but he, he kind of, they have a moment with him pointing out the window, showing where he buried the bodies of him and the other Morty. Sorry, him and the, the other uh, Rick other him another Rick and it's kind of like this kid lives uh, uh, looking out the window this kid can see his own grave in it. it's just fucking the show goes above and beyond anything sci-fi has tried to do for such a long time it's so dark and twisted in places and light and it's strange and it's weird and it if you've ever seen the original flash animation or whatever animation it was that it came from you'll be surprised I recommend not watching that it's a very, 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 very different thing. It's just sort of, oh, oh, that's not what this show is at all, is it? No, but you know, it's not great game out of it, so who cares? Go with Trick and Morty. That was slightly spoilerific for one episode, but you know, it really doesn't matter. I didn't say any of the best lines. Like, science isn't always an exact science. It's fucking genius. It's he's making a potion. Science is always an exact science. Brilliant. Anyway. That was me spoiling a lot of Rick and Morty. Go watch it. It's on Adult Swim's website. If you get Adult Swim, Rick and Morty, if you're in America or can lie convincingly in that way, you can actually watch every single episode of it on uh, the Adult Swim website. All 11 of the first series, which is coming out on Blu-ray and DVD soon as well, with special features and stuff, and Series 2 is happening, and woo! Uh, right, okay. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Let's get a straight part so I can... Oh, that looks good. Through the ravine! Fuck, that was deeper than I thought that would be! Doesn't matter. Okay, right. Will this video be uploaded? Yes. <laughs> Do you think I'm just doing this video just by myself? I'm like, well, that was a great time. I think I'm putting myself through like over an hour at the moment. Oh, grind! Of actual genuine entertainment. They're just talking about shit. Yeah, I probably would actually. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's? Oh, okay. What? So I read a question and then it popped up. Another. You know, like when Twitch the chat goes up, it just popped up and there was another question in its place that was just strange. Um, it was, uh, Cal X Lum says, what is your favorite flavor of redhead, indigo or purple? Okay. <laughs> that's not the question I wanted to answer, that's the question that just filled my brain. Um, I don't have an answer for that, but thank you for taking part. Uh, right, okay. Oh shit. Will I play Assassin's Creed Unity, says Ig... What was that? Igmarn. Igmarn, the foul. Sounds like a old warrior type. Um, oh, hang on. Yay, going in the right direction. Um, yes, but not for a while. I don't really have an interest in it. Like, Assassin's Creed sort of died for me, and then they added boats, and all I really did was sail around the boat. So Assassin's Creed Sans boat isn't something I give a flying toss about, to be perfectly honest. It's just not. It's just... Meh. And they added co-op, which is just stupid. I, I, I like co-op in some games, where it makes sense. When you're trying to be a sneaky, stealthy assassin, there goes a jet, co-op does not make fucking sense. Keep going. Goodbye. Just doesn't make fucking sense at all. And it's going to be just idiots running around stabbing or fucking everything up. No one's going to play it sensibly and properly. Uh, and it's just going to be a big clusterfuck. So I don't... I may pick it up, but, like, when it's seriously cheaper. It's the same with Far Cry 4. Uh, I don't really have a huge... Enjoy like, I love Far Cry 3 a load, but Far Cry 4 just looks like more Far Cry 3. Like, Far Cry 1, 2, and 3 were all really different, and 4 just feels like more 3. It hasn't shown me why it's different, why I should bother, why I should care. Because I know, like, I, I, sh I don't like seeing the same things all the time. I don't like playing the same things all the time. 
Because the, the, the whole point of like someone who becomes like a fanboy is someone who just wants the same thing over and over and over again. I don't want the same things over and over again. I like playing new things and doing new stuff. And that's why like when people like request, oh, I want you to see you do this as a series. And I never do. And then the next episode of something I do, I'm like, oh, you should do this as a series. And I never do. And then the next episode, you should do this as a series. What people haven't realized is the thing they want me to do most is these things. Like, they, they, the series is unimportant. The, the, it, if every video that I do they want a series of, then I'm doing a great job. I'm, I'm getting what they want. I'm getting the, the videos that they want up. They just haven't realized. They want more of the thing because that's what they immediately want. But as soon as I give them something else, they're like, actually, this was great as well. We want more of this. How about this thing? Oh, that was great as well. And that's a better way of doing art. And I consider myself art in a very loose sense. Fuck it, it is. I don't give a shit. It's a thing. I do, it's creative. It's creative thing, it's art. I don't, people are like, oh, well, games are, of course games are fucking art, you knob-gobbling twat munchers. What? Why would you think they're not? It's, okay, free-to-play mobile transaction, you bollock fucks. Maybe not, but, you know, a lot of shit. I think Double Fine have created nothing but art. I think, you just look at Los Santos from GTA V, that entire thing is art. It's a 3D digital world you can drive around. How the fuck is that not art? It's just, you have to have that level of pomposity with art, and fuck it, to be perfectly honest, because it's just ruining things. Because I hate the term content creator. I hate that. People are like, oh, he's a content creator. No, I, entertainer, reviewer, whatever the fuck you want to call me, just don't call me a content creator. Because that's a horrible thing to call someone. It's like, basically going, you make the packaging for other stuff. Content just sounds like filler. No one buys an album for filler. I don't want filler. I don't like to be a filler creator. I want to be a... You know, good shit creator. That's my thing, and I'm sticking to it. I'm climbing up a fucking mountain from it's because it was in my way. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just sort of stuff. I don't want to be content. Content sounds like porridge. It's just it's just a gloopy white congealed flob that just masses together. Oh, you created some content. Well done. I gotta climb to the top of this mountain. And... Oh, well, snow! We found snow. Jesus Christ! Didn't even know there was snow in this game. Is there a rainbow in the sky, or is it just the light engine that's finally given up? I don't know, but I'm climbing to the top of this fucking mountain. Not built for snow, this vehicle, apparently. Crap, crap, crap. Oh my god, look at the view! Holy shit, that's impressive. Wow, I'd love it if I could just turn on, like, the trees and, like, a, just further. Just a bigger draw distance. Let's see if I can go around. It's a little less steep up here. Oh, I'm having skiing flashbacks! Do you like skiing? Then you're a lunatic. <laughs> it's true, truth, truthful answer. Just, just truth. That's the truth. You are a lunatic who should be locked away. No, you should just be forced to ski until you die. Skiing, I don't understand why anybody ever likes it. It's it's weird, and you are literally guaranteed to die if you go skiing. It's a gu it's a 100% guarantee. Everybody who goes skiing comes back dead. That's real. That's science. That is. Because I I recently went skiing, and literally because I had like a, a Oh, fuck. The place I was staying was literally just outside of the slope, one of the slopes. There was, like, one of the, like, the training slopes. And for every less than a minute, there would be someone having a massive accident in this small area that I could see. And I don't mean sort of like, oh, I fell over. I mean sort of like, oh, well, that's a hospital trip. Skis flying about, someone impaled on one of those weird stick things. It's, you have to wear boots that are designed entirely to cripple. Like, I got giant feet, so they didn't have ones that fit me. So I had to wear ones that were two sizes too small as well. I skied for three hours before I gave up forever, and I'm glad I did. It proves I'm sane. <laughs> if there's ever a question of my sanity, they'll, they'll, they'll look at it and go, Oh, well, actually, he doesn't like skiing. Well, then he's sane. He's guilty of the murders. Um, <laughs> it's twice I've said I should be murdering people. Oh, good grief. Uh, right, no, let's just, just run over that random T-Rex thing. We're getting to the top of this fucking mountain. Whether it kills you or not. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's talk about the car there, not you, particularly people. Human watching this video, or a group of humans. I've seen, like, people occasionally tweet pictures of them, like, having a party and watching my videos. If you're watching this at a party, this is not a good party. You, you need to go and just buy some drugs, or some... <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh, there is just a random colouring blob in the sky. That's you, that's your drugs, that is. I'm gonna make it. There's the skull of the last person who tried to make it up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's steep, but it's worth it. That's just some sort of horse who thought, that's a good idea to climb the mountain. Ah, you nearly made it to the top, my friend. Okay, don't buy drugs, kids. Unless it's legal in your area, then go fucking nuts if you want. Who am I to tell you? 
Ron, we have made it to the top of the mountain. Oh yeah, right, we can finally see how fucking hell. We're at the middle! We're at the center, that's the lake in the middle. I fucking hope that's the lake in the middle. Hang on. Map, yeah! Oh, I wasn't even slightly paying attention to that. So there's the lake. We are at the halfway point. Booyah! So we gotta go around it this way. Oh, actually I'm glad I've been swerving this way a lot because I was actually destined to sort of hit it up there. There is that actually. I kind of want to investigate what's up the top there. Look, you can spiral to the top of that and we should be able to see that. Yeah, that's that rock there in the middle. So we can get to the top of that if we wanted. I think it's a low tide kind of thing. You know what? That'll be for another challenge. Today we are just trying to get past it so we have to go around it. Look how far it is though. Holy shit. That's impressive. Right. Careful, careful, careful. And that's just a huge long view as well. Down we go. Up the mountain. Down the mountain. Very... I broke myself. I flipped the underside. Getting down this mountain may be slightly trigger than I thought it would be. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Oh, all the keys. All the keys being hit. Nice speed. And we are away to hit more trees like we were some sort of skier. <laughs> if you happen to like ski, good luck to you. Well done. You, you're a mental. People like stupid things. Um, and if you are watching this at a party, well, whatever. I fucking hate parties anyway. I'd much rather watch YouTube videos. That's going to hurt my ass. Ow. Ooh, that's a wider smile for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think about that phrase too much. Up. Down. Sideways. Purple. Lovely purple. Oh, I fucked you up, random skeleton warrior. They should come alive at night and run around the place spookfully. Um, I generally don't know what to do in this point. Do we go around? Because it's, it's surrounded by mountains. I think we have to go around the whole mountains. Yeah, let's go around the mountains. Let's not go up them. That is a silly thing. There's a tree going out of this shed. And while you admire that, I'm going to finish off my first drink. I brought two. Ooh. Oh. It's only a pint. Down a half pint pretty fucking quick. Oh, it's not a pint of alcohol. It's fucking juice, isn't it? I don't drink alcohol. Do you know why I drink alcohol? Because I like being sane. I like having a, my little... I have a tiny, teeny, tiny, very badly aligned cling to reality. And that'll do me. I'll keep that. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to skid up with anyway. It's just not my jam. Not my jam. Right. Uh, questions! We haven't got a question for a while. Uh, I'm going to... I'm doing a... Um... Oh. What the fuck happened there? I think I just fell through the floor or something. Okay, we're gonna go in this direction. Okay. Damn, I'm pregnant with Matt Phobia's baby. Yeah, I'm gonna stop reading that one there. Uh, oh, fuck out, shit. Damn, stop speeding, says Keddies. 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 Keddies? I'm not speeding. There's no limits in the woods. You can go as fast as you like. Unless. Is that, is that what it is? That's, that's probably. Is that true? It's probably just not a speed limit. You're probably just not supposed to drive cars in the woods. Yeah, fuck you, I'm not speeding. I'm, not, I'm just breaking a different law. You can't speed if there's no limit. That's what I say. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, run a red light. <laughs> People are trying to be smart. People are trying to be smart and it's backfiring because I never tell them what I'm playing. That was uh, Cap Carlismo. Captain Carlismo. Carismo? Car no, Carlismo. Okay, dokie. Uh, said, oh, run a red, red light. Why don't you? Well, no. You're wrong. Uh, can you please sing a song about people drinking gravy? G gravy. Gavy. Gavy is gay gravy. It's much more expensive. Uh, that's Echo 1814. Sing a song about gravy. Um, no. <laughs> that part of me wants to, but I'm like, ah, am I really your singing, dancing monkey? Yes, I am. I like good gravy and I cannot lie. If I don't, this turkey is dry. <laughs> ah, well done. Well done. Yeah, it's my rap career continuing there. Uh, <laughs> Oh, where the fuck am I even going? Oh, fuck. Straight. Beeline it. Beeline it. We'll go fine. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a <laughs> ramp there for you. That was a, a song. You can have that as your ringtone, my home. Yeah, see, like, I'm just doing the thing. What's homey mean? Is it like, you live in my home? I feel like that's like just mother, surely. Yo, mum. How cool would that be? Is that, that's what you should do. That, you, I just, there's just... <laughs> Sorry, there was, a, there was a wonderful thing I saw someone say the other day. Oh fuck, hang on a second. Oh no, no, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget what I was gonna say. And I forgot. Oh, you know when you like, you've got a thought and it's just there. 
and you can't remember it, and it's just, uh, I call this like exam mode. It, it's just that forever with me, really. I'm gonna ask another question. Ask one, answer one, whatever. It's been like an hour and a half of recording now or something. Uh, any teasers of how to job? Yeah, I just went through. It's probably not gonna be called that, and it'll be something entirely different, and how to job itself may never happen. <clears throat> so, uh, the, uh, right. I'm a gay fish, says RJ9912. Well done. Uh, isn't there like a, a, a species of fish that switches, it can switch genders like at will or something? That would be just so useful. That, that would that would really be a useful thing to have, just the ability to just switch genders at will. I'd like that. Just, it, it would be good. It's like, oh man, this sad movie's doing nothing for me. Boom, turn to a man suddenly crying. Yeah, you see? Your prejudices got there before I did. Boom. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this shit like this. Oh, thank God for the internet. And Jim Sterling. Wonder how many times Dan has crashed, says, uh... Oh my God. Don't put X's in your name. Cly X O F R T E R. Cly X O F T E R. Whatever. Uh, a million, probably. I don't know. Um, will this be up tomorrow on YouTube? No, I'm recording this on Tuesday? I think today's Tuesday, and it's going up on Friday. Because that'll give me enough time to get it all sorted out and hand broken stuff and whatever. I have to hand break files and stuff now because it makes them easy to- but hey, fuck it doesn't matter. Unimportant, it's just a thing that I do. Um, blah 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 blah. I'm just trying to read through because it, it's now getting really in-jokey. Everyone's- started, there was like a cult of me earlier today, so before it even started, so- Dan, do you still play Cookie Clicker? No, I'm uh, about six months clean of Cookie Clicker. That was Mumblers! 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 Interesting, we're going the right way. We are! Sweet! Follow this little dirt path off. Oh, answer another question. Nicely done. Okie dokie. Right. Um, people saying they're fanboys of stuff and they want me dead. Ah, uh, that's standard. The, um, the... Don't be a fanboy. A fanboy is someone who only wants the same thing over and over again. Be just a fan. Fans are good. Fan fanboy is... A fanboy is someone who just becomes more religious and teasing and, you know, saying something is just more fun. Because you've got a weakness. If you go, I'm a fanboy of this, you have a weakness. You've just gone, oh, if you say anything bad about this, I'll probably cry. It, it's, it really is. It's it's insane. Like, the the, the amount of times I've just uh, I've just said a tweet about, oh my god. Hang on, let's see if that can die down. Die down a bit, please. I don't know if you can see these flickers, but they are really quite bad. The amount of, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, is that that river still? Oh, holy shit, are you kidding me? We're still around that? Oh yeah, oh wow. So that's, okay, so we've gone from here to here in all that time. Big fucking game. Okay, whoa, we're not going down there. Look at that, it's just a little fucking in the distance or thing now. That's the man, we run over there, one of those two. Sweet, yeah, but no, if you say you're a fanboy, it's just immediately I can just say, well, that sucks, and you're like, but it doesn't suck, blah, 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 blah. A fanboy is someone who, when defending something, will just go, ah, oh, you're a fucking idiot, instead of going, oh, that's a good point, here's my counterpoint. That's, that's the, the sort of the difference, really. Fanboys get more... If I go through that, I think I start a race, so I'm not going to go through that. Fanboys get more aggressive faster, so there's no point in being a fanboy for anything. I'm going to fuck your car up! Fanboy of gravity! The, uh, oh! Oh, God, I thought that was water for a second then. We're fine. We're still going in the right direction. Yep, slightly off, actually. We want to be going more. Actually, at this point, where do we want to be going? Because that was to get there. Uh, that's a pretty good one. We head sort of in that direction. Fuck knows. Got no idea. There's probably more stuff in the way at some point. Yeah, don't be a fanboy. Because a fanboy is someone who will damage the product in the long run and who can't take criticism. And taking criticism is a good thing. Taking criticism rocks. Uh, and fanboys are just morons. <laughs> just in general. If you think you're a fanboy of me, don't be. Because sometimes I fuck up. I fuck up on a massively regular thing. I don't do everything perfect. I just have the ability to not delete stuff. I like that. I've, I've, I've made a rule myself. I'm just not going to delete things that I fuck up. Because then it's like, if you delete something, it's like, well, hiding that. But if you no, don't delete something, it's like, yeah, I'm learning from this. You only learn from mistakes. Which is why I say I did really well in my exams. Well, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, this is fun. Dan, I'm going to uni next year to study physics, says Faulty Door 1. Any advice? Yes, sleep with as many people as possible. It's the only fun you've got to have a physics degree. Um, the... <laughs> Oh, advice for life. No, the, um... Uh, it really... No, no I didn't... I didn't uh, uh, make sure you want to go to university before you go. 
because I went because everyone I was smart enough to go to university and everyone was like you should touch go to university it's the only way to get a career in life etc etc blah and it's really not it's it's so not it's it's really not like it's oh shit it, it really is like I had kind of fun like it, it, I learned a lot more about living life than I did about the actual subject because I was like the first time I lived away from home and stuff uh, and it was that sort of thing. I made great, great friends and stuff. Like Tracy, I met at university. Tracy runs the business side of everything. I met her at university. We were, we we went to the science fiction and fantasy society together. Oh, I'm going down here. Fuck your rules. Um, uh, but then we lived together in the second year. We lived. Uh, I can't remember who else I lived with. Uh, uh, names, names elude me. I'm really bad with names. There was there was hockey man who was physics and fantastically smarter than I was uh, and really athletic. Well, which is you know the awful combination. Uh, and there was uh, Insane Dude, who had long hair and was always doing insane stuff, who got me into magic and stuff. Well, it was just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic. Get a really good group of friends. That's a good advice. Get a real good group of people. Like, just of not like the same person three times. Get different people and live a life. And live away from home and live as much as possible and join the clubs and don't drink. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Don't drink, save all your money up, and buy an awesome TV and console at the end, which is all I did. That was, that was good fun. Am I still going the right way? Slightly ring off. You go there. Oh, pipes! Oh, fuck. I got piped. Um, yeah. Don't do anything, like, too stupid. That's better advice. Do some stupid stuff, just don't do anything too stupid. Um, oh, and then something about study or whatever. I don't know. I never got the hang of the study part. It, I sort of like, within like three months or so of actually starting like university, I, I kind of realized it wasn't for me. And I, I I just wasn't into it. And like, make sure you're really into physics before you go and do physics. Because I'm going to tell you this now, you won't be studying physics. You'll be doing maths with a very small taste of physics. Like the physics bits, I love the maths bits. I'm like good at maths, but I find maths desperately dull sometimes. Uh, especially when it's like fucking integrals. Integral this, integral that, integral everything. Everything is in dy by dx, your mother. It's just very, very awful. The only thing I really truly liked about that was that I understand most of the jokes in XKCD. <laughs> and uh, Saturday morning breakfast cereal. And that's 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 the best thing to come out of university. Is if you can understand the XKCD jokes, then you're doing well. But yeah. Uh, oh, and don't live in catered accommodation because the food at universities is as awful as the food in schools. And uh, you'll learn how to cook pretty fucking quick. That's that's all true. Uh, but yeah, just go fucking nuts. Go a little nuts, have a little fun, be who you want to be, don't try and fit in because fuck people who do that, and do whatever. That's my advice. And then drop out and become a YouTuber. That's awful advice, don't do that, I got so fucking lucky. Actually, I dropped out to go get a proper normal human boring job. Because I was like, you know, I just want to go and do, I want to do a thing. I, was, I wasn't contributing, I wanted to do a thing and I'm going to go off this cliff now. That's fun. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do a thing and that was that was uh, an okay idea. I realised I was, I always do a sort of more creative than anything and it sort of, pushed me and then I don't know. Get, yeah, go, fucking, just go and live life. That's, it, it, that's the advice of university. Just fucking enjoy it and, and do stupid things and grow a garden of not drugs and learn how to cook and get your heart broken and do all the life things. So then when you go out in the real world, you go, oh my god, I have to pay all these rents and taxes and finances and everything's awful. Ah, you would have wasted the time. Um, or, and uh, if you're not liking it, drop out. No shame in it. No shame in dropping out. I say that because I'm a dropout. <laughs> and I have no shame. Oh, glorious. But no, it really is. There's there's no... Because like you look at the people who dropped out. There's like, you know, Bill Gates. And then there's probably Steve Jobs. And there's me. You know, fuck it. I don't know. Steve Jobs. He's, he was a weirdo, wasn't he? And... <laughs> that's, I, he, he annoyed me. He annoyed me so much that he had... It's, it's, ah, oh, I know, again, fanboys, don't pick on fanboys and stuff, but Steve Jobs was, uh, a visionary in design. He was, as the design visionary, I, I can't take that away from him, the, the iPhone, every fucking phone looks like an iPhone now, that's, that's his legacy, the, you know, everything looked like the fucking Motorola Pebble and shit, and there was flip phones and flat phones and slidey phones and stuff, and now everything is just rectangle block with touchscreen. I mean, I don't think he did any of the actual programming or tech or shit like that. I mean, I don't, I genuinely don't know. The thing that pissed me off with him was he had a really curable disease and he decided to take fucking stupid fake doctor bullshit advice and it killed him. It made him really sick and it killed him. Don't do alternate 
medicines. Alternate medicines. Because if they were real medicines, they'd be called medicines. That's the, that's ju That just pisses me off. It just seems like such a waste. Yeah, I know it's his life to live and he could live it any way he fucking wanted, but it just seems like such a waste. A real horrific waste. So, yeah, homeopathy's bullshit. I know, because I overdosed on it. Um, on purpose, there was some big... I can't remember the name of it was. I've said this story again as well. University. Again, I was going to go to university. There was, we went to Boots Pharmacist and we bought lots of homeopathy tablets and took loads. And nothing happened. I didn't die. I didn't go strange. I didn't go peculiar because it was essentially sugar pills. Uh, it is fake science and fake science and fake medicine irritates me because it's science for the stupid. It really, it's, it's like psychics and stuff. You know, you get psychics and they're like, oh, we can talk to your dead person. That's someone just... Someone's in just general, actual... Oh, wrong one. Someone's genuinely grieving and you're going to take advantage of them to make some money. Well fucking done you. You don't have the sight. You're a fucking charlatan. Piss off forever. <sighs> Get angry again. Should we go to the questions? <laughs> one hour and a half and you're still here. Well done. Right. Um, this is a nice clear bit. I can flick through and see if I can find some interesting stuff. Uh, don't play Dota, the fanboys will kill you. The, that's that's true. I have no interest in games like that. If there's uh, no interest whatsoever in uh, like League of Legends and Dota and stuff. They don't interest me. They don't excite me. MOBAs, that's it, isn't it? I don't find them fun at all. Like, because it's very... It's like win or... There's no fun, really, to be had. I don't find them fun, apart from winning is the only fun bit, and I don't really play games to win. Uh, as you probably know... Should I pull an all-nighter after I did the other day? What? This is this is Cap Charismo again, or Cap Car Charismo, whatever. Uh, should I pull an all-nighter after I did the other day or not? I don't even know what that means. Oh, I used to live off all-nighters. Like when I started this channel up to get the edited videos done, I was, I did, I used to do 26 hours awake, four hours sleep, 26 hours awake, every single day. Uh, well, apart from the days where I was just dying because of the stupid shit that I have. But, um, no, that was, that was, I, I lived off all nighters. University, I only ever did all nighters, but then again, I didn't really get a class. Uh, but was, I was too busy playing Sins of the Stellar Empire Land for two weeks. Fucking huge matches. Um, no, I, 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 an all nighter is useful, but don't think you'll be awake after it. Like, that's really important. Don't think, oh, I'm going to pull an all nighter. I'll be awake and fine and well the next day. I, I can sleep on four hours. no. Like, unless you get into a you-just-need-four-hours-sleep sort of pattern, you, an all-nighter will damage you in the long run. So you can pull an all-nighter, just make sure you got the time free before it. you got nothing that important to do. Because uh, in the long run, it'll cost you. It's like, it's, it's, it's an efficiency burn. It's like you have the time now, but you'll lose time later. Ooh, you sideswipe me, you bitch. So that's what it is. It's it's like, it's... Oh, fuck, he's disappeared! Martian's got him. Oh, he's over there. It's it's one of those... It's, it's sort of efficiency more kind of thing. Uh, right, so we are heading, hang on, zoom out, we are, we are way more than halfway, I think, now. Yeah! Alright, so this will only take like two hours, like I thought. There may be a nuclear explosion in the distance, I'm not quite sure. And I sideswipe you that time! Still got damage. Um, yeah, that's like advice for all-nighters. It's, and, and the other, the advice for this is more for people, not a university, for school. Do homework the day you get homework. This is the best advice I can give anybody in any stage of education ever. As soon as you have stuff to do, just fucking get it done. Just fine, get it done, and it's pressure off. There's no shit. You won't rush it. You'll do better. It is the best advice. It's the life advice you just should take because it's incredible. That is, as soon as you learn that, you're like, oh my god, life is so much better. Uh, also, if you're in secondary school and you're having difficulty remembering all your books and stuff, buy those like plastic folders with like the zip at the top, and just put all the books you need for each one in, and then like label it what course that is, and then you just pull out the the individual uh, folders and stuff. And then you'll never leave books at school, in your locker, you'll never leave anything. That's that's a really good organization thing. That can be alive as well. That was my two things. Uh, and also, uh, never be afraid to punch someone in the face! I'm kidding, never punch someone in the face. Unless they, you know, deserve it. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, there's always, there's always the high, take the high road whenever possible, because, oh my God, let's wait for that to settle down a bit. Always try and take the high road, because when you've taken the high road, you're on the high road and it's high, and then you have the advantage. That's, it's fucking Chairman Mao and me agree on that one. Or Sing, whatever his name is, did the Art of War. Who did the Art of War? Shao something. Shao Kahn. Yeah, why the fuck not? But it's always have the high ground. And the high ground is the high road and just be awesome. You'll be much better. Oh my god, we just, this is just, so the terrain's just flattened out. And there's nothing. This is cool. Oh, crash helicopter. Have we seen one before yet? Don't know. Ooh. 
I'd have never told you landing that one. Pseudo crash planes, which is strange. I tend to stumble across a lot of them normally. Is that just a dude? Oh, it's a cactus. Oh, Mirage. I've hit the Mirage. Ow! Didn't see that trough cut out of the ground. Holy shit. Okay, we're going to follow along this little bit of water. Because we can't. Sure, she can't cross it. Slightly clammy water, but it's going okay. It's going fine. And uh, make that jump! Ow! Wow, that's steep. Alright, I was about to ask another question. I generally have to play properly for a second. Whoops! Do that again. Do that again. Okay, wait. So where's the bridge? There's a bridge here, wasn't it? There, there, there's the bridge. Cross. Nice and smooth. Alright, and we carry on. Uh, yeah, why not? Carry on in this sort of direction. Oops, I span out to that rock. Nice. More questions. I'm giving you so much advice for life here. The, um... People are asking Matt questions now, and he's advertising his own channel. Good for him. Just looking, glancing up, looking back, Twitch. Oh, that was a thing. Someone just fleetingly mentioned something that I can go on to. There was the... Uh... Oh, fuck. Knack of that. There was the whole uh, anger recently, like sheer amount of hate. I'm not being fired at me. Okay. Fuck okay. it. Tumblr. Let's talk about Tumblr, actually. Let's, let's go through Tumblr because Tumblr is a very interesting thing. I have never seen a group of people so easy to offend. Like, it's, it's insane. And they, because, like, Tumblr's, like, one of the only places you can still get in contact with me directly. I mean, I don't read everything on there because I get, like, hundreds a day, but I'll skim the top few if I look at it. And at least one of the top five will be someone really ripping apart something that I said as a joke. Like, in the plays video, I don't mean the stuff I say. I play off stereotypes and stuff because it's quick and easy and cheap. Because if it's if I was writing the plays videos, they would be so much different to the quick, easy things your brain can come up with and stuff. So if I if I go that MRA's a wife beat, it's... Jesus, fuck. I don't genuinely believe that. I, 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 I don't. But it's funny when you beat up a cow and you go, Oh, my God. And, and, and it learns a lesson. You're like, oh, that learned a lesson. It's Pete Molly and MRA. That's a quick joke. That works. It's a comedy. I don't really mean those things. You know, you didn't really believe I was killing people earlier. But, and, and, but just mention the word feminism. Oh my god, Tumblr shits itself. Tumblr just explodes with pure molten, you can't say that word, it's our word, sort of. Holy shit. It's, it's like the stuff I've been called on. I've never been abused as much as I get, have been on Tumblr. Oh, sound down. Tumblr is just, oh my god, it's completely flat. Tumblr is just a place for really horrible people to say horrible things. Like, I know that it's like, it's supposed to be a minority, but it's like a way bigger minority than fucking anywhere else on the internet for me. Ooh, that's where I really piss people off. Like, I did the, the, the joke that got a lot of people was the black and white too, again, where I, I, it was a. Uh, this is what put the MRM head, was that I did a feminism joke. Because the people, women were giving birth in the street. I went, ah, oh, this is what the world would be like without feminism. You know, that's a funny little. That's a thing to say. That's an entertaining thing to say. And they lost their bleeding minds. Like, oh, I, I should die in a fire because you've said the word feminism in a joking way that reduces the something of the words. And, oh my god, shut the fuck up. Like, I'm I, a feminist. Me. I believe this shit. I can still fucking make a joke about it. I don't think there's anything you can't make a joke about. I, I really get annoyed people like, oh, can't, can't do jokes. Oh, I can't make a joke about that. Are we heading on the right path? Yes, we are. Wow, that's a big... What's this bit? I don't know what this bit is. Well, this bit. Is that a mountain range? What's the bit I'm on now? There's all these There's all these weird grey blobs. So is this just the sandy bits? What's that one? I don't know. Should we go and investigate what this grey blob is? Because it looks like... That's like a plain grey? I, I keep I keep glancing at it. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Because we've got... I, I understand that this might be mountainy, deserty stuff. But that's plain grey. Uh, let's go and investigate. We're going to go and investigate the plain grey. So we're going to head in sort of this direction. But yeah, no, I just, it's just insane how just quickly offended they get. Just, just, instant. I can't, I can't say the word feminism. because I think I'm offended. Wait, let's just clarify some, something. Feminism means equality between men and women. It was called feminism because at the time it was created, men ruled the fucking world. They still mostly do. It's just a thing. It's, that's just how it is. That's how the world is at the moment. It's getting better, which is good. But... It's called feminism because of that. It's not like it's not me going, I'm a feminist. You don't go, oh, it just means he prefers women to men. He wants more rights for women. No, 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 no. There's just a lot of places where women don't get as many rights as men. They get paid way less money for the same jobs. They get shut over in loads of ways. 
There's lots of bad things. There are some legitimate men's rights issues, like three. And that's the bad thing. Like, men's rights isn't really necessary yet. There are a few places where they are, like sort of uh, uh, child, whatever it's called, when you, you split up and you... Child custody, that's the one. That's an important thing. Divorce and shit that gets screwed over. Uh, claims of rape and things. It's necessary to have men's rights for those things because that's sort of, you know, that that's more skewed towards the female. But pretty much everything else is skewed towards the male, and it's that's why you have, you have these these, the the rights and stuff. It's it's weird, you know. It's it's, it's it's called feminism because there's more, you know, that's where it started. There's more issues over there. It just is. So when I I, I, I say I'm a feminist, what I mean is let's all be equal. Let's let's not. Just be like, this is not, it's a man's world? No, let's make it everyone's world. That would be amazing. Give everyone an equal footing, everyone an equal chance. How do you not want that? That would be the best thing. But you say that word, and some people go, oh, I'm wrong, and the feminists attack you, so. Uh, and I know it's the, it's the, it's the noise, it's the, what they say, it's the loudest, it's the, the biggest twats that echo the loudest. That's a thing that I want to say. Wow, we found a little, a little fuel up. Oh, and a good ramp there. Biggest twats that echo the loudest. That's the worst thing I've ever said. But it's true, you know, it is. It's just uh, the loudest arseholes echo more. It's it's that sort of thing. Oh, I fucked up the ramp. Uh, bollocks of the world. Wee! Oh, jet! That would have been that would have been so awesome. Stupid poles in the way. Um, but yeah. So so whatever I was saying is a thing, and I've said it, and then I was distracted by a shiny, shiny, shiny jet. Uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, equality is what I'm looking for, and most feminists are looking for. I know there are some feminists that are like, Women first! They're fucking idiots who have taken the name that I'm not going to give up. That I'm, I don't think we should give up the name feminist, because there's so much great shit behind it. So, you know, whatevs. Uh, that's uh, that's the end of that rant. Uh, what are you? Some old big old building here. Oh, I was about to say, that looks absolutely fine, and then I saw the bottom half of it. Whoa, hang on a second, hang on a second. Why would you build a building where you couldn't actually see out of all the windows? Based on the fence. Maybe it's like a defense fence. But it wasn't high enough to be a defense fence. I'm going the right way. Uh, is this the white place? Is this the, is this the, no, 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 that's this bit here. So we have to go left a little bit, sort of hit it in the middle. Sort of here-ish. So yes, feminism is a good thing. Don't worry about it, internet as large. And feministy people, just remember why you call yourself a feminist, please. And also shut the fuck up occasionally. Uh, especially on Tumblr when I make a fucking joke. Oh my god, it's a joke. Ah, that white bit appears to be just more endless sandy terrain. Lovely. Maybe it's like completely flat or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just not loaded properly. Who the fuck knows? Oh, we will soon. Oh, that looks like a trough. Let's go around it. Oh, it's a pretty small one. We're gonna cut in like this. Sweet. Oh, turn my lights on. Hey, that pretty hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get some serious shit that's been sent to me. Like, what was that one I tweeted? There was, there was a, there was a absolute, like, someone with real bitterness and hate called me a, what was it, a, a cisgendered white liberal who liked Doctor Who. And I'm like, what the fuck's that last bit <laughs> Like, I had to look up, so if it's not an insult, if I have to look up some of the words. And also, what the fuck did Doctor Who do? Doctor Who is the best show ever. It's a, it's about a, so it's about a person that could become anything else, in, uh, anything else on the outside and they're still the same person on the inside. He should be on your flags, people! <laughs> It should be, Tumblr's flag should be just the Doctor, because it's everything that for equal rights embodies. It's just, yeah, well, I just, yeah, man. and he's about smarts in the face of aggression, and oh my god. Seriously, you, you need you need to think about what you say. Oh, we've got some more smashed up wind turbines over here. Smashed up in the exact same ways. Nice to know that the weather had OCD. Gotta smash them up right. Doop. Um, right, let's get another question, because that was a small round. Oh no! I remember where I was going on this. It was, um, I can't remember, it was a YouTuber that I honestly now can't remember the name of. Uh, did a tweet saying the PlayStation 4, no, it was PlayStation Now was the most retarded thing he'd ever seen, or something. And then everyone got up this guy's ass because he said it was retarded, which is a word you're not allowed to say. Um. Uh, I don't hate anyone for using a word, really, because... Like, if it's... I'm of the impression that if it's, like, a bad word that's an insult, if you use it as an insult to the person... Are we there yet? Oh, my God, hang on. Yes, so this this whole deserty bit is just a blank, empty desert. That's amazing, and it's driving this absolutely mad. Hang on. Steady. Nice. 
Oh, fucking hell, look at that. I hope you can see that. There we go. Yeah, I'm of the word, if it's an offensive word, if you're, if you're using it to offend someone of that thing, that's bad. You know? And as much as I hate to say the following phrase, I don't want to stop this shit again, but the N-word... I'm not gonna say that to pretty much fucking anyone. But I, I feel absolutely comfortable saying it. The only reason I'm not saying it is because like, I can't deal with the shit that you people are sending me! It's a fine word. It's a, it's kind of funky sounding, to be perfectly honest. But, like, it's it's all about context for me. But time I'm like, oh, there's society, there's hidden society-based context hidden around it and stuff. Ah, it's really dependent on the individual and... It was that Rick and Morty. Hang on, I'm going to look up that... There's a, a beautiful bit in a Rick and Morty episode where they, they have a discussion on the word retarded. And it's, uh, it's, it's basically... Uh, uh, Morty's going, yeah, because no, Rick says the word, this would have made me retarded. It's like, no, actually, this device would have made me retarded. It would have made me think. He's like, yeah, but you can't use that word because it's been taken over by um, powerful groups that think they're doing right, but it's it's purely symbolic now. And Rick replies, well, that's retarded. Which, it's such a beautiful use of language, that. But it, it, it really is a... <sighs> he wasn't attacking anyone with the words. And the word retarded means it's slowing progress. And if, like, he genuinely thought, you know, because if you, should, you do a lot of maths, you... Oh, there's a city. Is that a city in the distance? Oh, my God, cool. Oh, we're heading towards that, then. The, um, yeah, so if you have, if you, um, like, in maths, if, you, if something slows down, then it retards. And so the word, for me, because I've done so much maths, I've used the word retards a lot. So I don't really have that same sort of context for me. So when he says it was there, I, if I'd read the tweet, and I have read the tweet, I would have gone, oh, he just thinks that it's... Like, he, he could just be meaning it's gone back. It's context. I think context is the most important thing. Uh, but I, I don't think it's a bad thing to say that we're retarded. And I, I'm glad he didn't apologise. Because it's not... I mean, because it's sort of... It's strange. Like, there's words like... You can't say retarded. Because that's offensive. But you can call someone stupid. I can call anything stupid. I can call things insane or mental. It's weird that there's certain words. Like, if Rick and Morty got it right, it's it's sim it's symbolic. It's a symbolic word that's the, the, a group has won, and they've said, "Now you're not allowed to use this word." <laughs> oh my God! So D I thought Dust Bowl City just meant it was like lots of rocks and shit. Dust Bowl City is an actual city. Holy shit! It's still really far away as well. <laughs> Although I'm thinking it's getting closer and closer. It's really not. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's that's my thoughts on that. It's 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 a word. Don't get too offended by it. Okay. It's 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 just a word. It really it's just a word. It wasn't used in aggression towards a person. It was I don't know. Ah, uh, can't wait for my Tumblr post tomorrow. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, this is pretty fucking cool. Look at this, just a trashed city. Oh, it's a racetrack as well. Ah, oh, boo, you've added the racetrack to it. I want to go see it from up high, because we're slightly off uh, board here. Oh, that's been clipped by a racer. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Steady on. Oh, my God. Camera doesn't like it. Lang doesn't like it. Yeah, so it's uh, there's a properly... Uh, let's, let's just do the racetrack for a while. I've never actually bothered to play this game enough to unlock everything, so I've never found all this stuff. I always thought Dust Bowl City just meant it was just, like, sandy. <laughs> I don't think they'd actually bother to put a city in that they wouldn't have anywhere else in the game. There you go. We're scooting our ass around a city now. Hell of a thing to find. Oh, I might start a race if I go through this. Let's just peel off and go up here. Whee! Round the outside, I believe the popular phrasing is. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my poor Tumblr inbox. Oh, I'm starting to think that I may just never go back to it. And that might be a really good idea. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think about that. The subreddit. You can discuss this video on the subreddit if you actually got to this point. Ow, 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 ow. Because it's, 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 it's an interesting discussion. Like, because it, it's... it's oh, even though the Rick and Morty quote is also includes that it's not about logic. And it's really not about logic anymore. If you compare the words that aren't allowed to be said, you know how to say these words, then there are words that just doesn't make sense to not really say. People get kind of touchy. And then again, people are touchy. Oh, shit. Right, let's leave the city. Let's leave Tumblr being angry at me behind. And let's get another question. Because I'm really sweating now. Oh, God, it's so fucking warm in here. Um, right, okay, 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 okay. Lots of people. I, I, I don't ever answer, like, if you read my Tumblr, because I do answer stupid questions. I answer, like, 
questions that I can answer with a joke, not just stupid shit like, oh, how many Rambos to a fish or something? I, I probably won't answer that one. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Killer of Men 67 says, Dan, should I ask people for sex or not? Um, if, if they're adults, if they're, and they consent, then go nuts. That's generally all I care for. That pisses me off. Let's go on this. Because you always get, whenever you see, like, the, like, the defense of all these anti-gay activists and stuff has, am I going the right way? Hang on. Yeah. The defense of all the anti-gay activists and stuff has always sort of been, like, oh, if, if we have gay marriage, what's next? Children marriage? Animal marriage? Oh, you fucking, what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously, I, I don't understand. What? <laughs> Really, it's really is a. Uh, it's it's strange. It's it's very strange that you would make that leap. I think they make that leap simply because they don't actually have a defence apart from their random God works in mysterious ways card. Impossible to argue with religion in that respect. Um, I hate that when religion latches onto a moral issue because it becomes impossible to argue. Because at any point, the person you're talking to could just go, "Well, actually, I believe this." And I can't change that, because otherwise I go to hell forever. This is why we need to make it a new religion that's just the opposite of everything Christians say. A new religion just the opposite of everything Christians say. No, they don't act on it, of course. They don't pro-murder or anything. But just to have the religious space go, well, I think there's other things. So we're going to put that aside and have a proper grown-up discussion instead of just going, oh, magic space, fair Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. Every time, I hope no one gets through these videos, because every time I just get a bit sort of ranty and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go! Finally, we found a crashed plane. Man, some friends has found one of these. Ooh, yeah, the weather was not kind to the world. Ooh, dear. Right, anyway, that was fun. Um, <laughs> that's surely all I have to say about that. Yeah, the, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, no, they, they, they latch onto this idea that as soon as you want gay rights, you want rights for everything else. No, I just want two grown-ups. Two, two grown-ups. This is all we want, okay. Two grown-ups who consent can do whatever the fuck they want. If it doesn't hurt anyone else, they're grown-ups and they consent. Who gives a toss? Why do you give a toss? Seriously, what? I don't know why you'd give a shit. It seems so illogical. It seems so busybody and nosy poking your face in everyone's business. I do not understand why you would give a toss. It, Buggers the, apart from if you believe Magic Space Fairy said so, in which case you have to fight it to the death because otherwise you go to hell forever. Burn, 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 the end of you. Stupid. Um, it really is. Like, I don't mind if you believe in shit, but if you believe in shit that are, and your shit says, oh, these other people can't do this thing, no, fuck off. It's you that's allowed to believe in this shit. Your shit cannot affect me. Okay, oh, here we go. Here's some more planes and stuff. So if, if you wanna, if you wanna believe that you can party till, you know, Three o'clock in the morning, great. But if you're still noisy, I'm gonna call an ambulance and get them to arrest you for flyers. I don't know, but it, yeah, you, just don't get in my way. Don't interrupt my life because you believe things. Don't make my life worse because it make your life better. Basically, that just seems massively unfair to everyone. It really does, and I don't understand you at all. Go away, please. You're not allowed to do this because because I therefore get. A, a, Rub on the tummy. <laughs> That's really that is that is that is the the gay marriage debate summed up. It's it's you're not allowed to get gay married because I want to go to the special happy place. I want happiness so you don't get any. I want happiness forever, so you don't get any now. But you're gonna go to the bad place anyway, so you're not allowed the happiness now. How about we all burn together when we burn? How about that? Anyway, stop ranting about that. Uh <laughs> I don't understand you. It's unnatural. Marriage is unnatural, you fucking gibbons. Have you ever seen any other creature on this earth get married? No. It's not a real thing. We made it up. Let everyone do it. Let everyone play the game. Oh, we have other things. No, let them play with your game. Fucking grown-ups. Christ's sake, what is wrong with all of you? I think we'll stop talking about that now. Let's get a question from Twitch. And spiral it off into talking about uh, other stuff. Uh, bu -bu 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 oh, fuck. How many games do you own on Steam? Asks... Uh, Nosticade. I own 500 plus. It's a lot. And most, I only have like 40 installed at a time because I have like a, a solid state drive that I've run most of them off of. In fact, this is actually running off my D drive, I think. My second drive. That's probably why it's lagging so much. Uh, right. 
Um, okay, so I, I read a question that was absolutely stupid, but I'm not gonna read it out because it was too stupid. Uh, it's one of those things I read, but I'd kill it. Oh, fuck, turn! Didn't see that in time. Didn't see that in time. We cool. Okay. Uh, do you like sushi? Says Dravedon. Yes, I love sushi. I think sushi is wonderful and magnificent, and I'm actually trying to learn how to make it, but it's quite difficult because I'm quite clumsy. Oh, I need to go over there a little more. Towards the white things. Oh, there's a red thing. What's that? Oh, that would be a helicopter drop point, I believe. Helicopters can drop you off here. Man, it's a lot of desert trekking in this one. Jesus. Oh, it's the right fucking temperature for it. No, I like sushi. I, I like... I pretty much like every food, really. All food. And it shows, because I'm getting a bit fat. But I don't care, because I think I'm amazing. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> fuck, fuck you, I'm great. Uh, the, um... Da -da 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 -da. Does the world end in the near future? Uh, the world itself, no. Humans, probably also no. I think most of us will be fine for a while. We'll probably survive. A few, at least a few of us will survive, and that'll be great. That'll do. We can, we can rebuild shit. It'll be fine, I think. I don't think, I don't think anyone's stupid enough to completely try and blow the world up. And even if they did completely blow the world up, it blows up the big cities and all the farm people take over. That's, that'll be fine. I'd survive. I live in the middle of fucking nowhere now. Mahaha. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I think, I think the world's cushy. I mean, all the, the pan, everybody's going, oh, history repeats itself, doom and gloom. Nah, everyone's been saying history repeats itself, doom and gloom for fucking ever. And we're still pretty fine. So we got pretty close a few times, but we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay as well. I like, I'm an optimist. I think we're okay, humans, in general. We're doing pretty good. We're getting some good stuff. I mean, even going back to gay marriage, it's, it's getting, America's getting pretty good, legalizing at the moment. It's going pretty much everywhere. Most places in Europe have it and stuff. It's pushing forward. I think we are progressing. Way good job. We're, it's like the safest time to be alive at the moment. Like, it's, it's the safest time to be alive. It's like the best time to be alive by any statistic you possibly think everything that's bad is down, all the good things are up. I mean, like, it, with, like, because people, the big fear that they try and point to is terrorism. More people are killed by bees every year than terrorists. Bees. Do you know how hard it is to be killed by, you have to really be fucking trying to be killed by a bee. It's, that's just, that's just true. Sorry. I only eight people are still watching. This is going to be fun. Um, right, what are we doing now? Uh, people think I'm driving a truck. What's your technique for cleaning out your belly button if you have one? I don't particularly have... I don't wear jeans and things, really. I, I kind of just wear comfortable trousers. I dress very comfortably. I don't dress in, like, fashion. I wear just baggy t-shirt and baggy shorts at the moment, but possibly just baggy trousers. Because, A, I get to sing Madness songs, and B, I just like being comfortable more than I give a shit about what you think I look like. I've never known why people put in so much effort. It's like, oh, it's... I gotta look pretty. Why? I don't give a toss. I couldn't describe the last person I saw in the street. I couldn't describe the last mental looking person I saw in the street. Nobody's looking at you. Everyone's too busy worried about what they look like themselves. So don't worry, don't fret it. Where the fuck you want? Seriously, don't care. It's, it's, it's a good thing. Did the moon just turn into the sun? What the shitballs? Did, now it's rising. The moon turned into the sun and now it is rising. Holy. Bollocks! Okay! Okay! Right, I have to I remember I have to have the moon in sort of that direction, so I end up pointing in this direction. Uh, how far are we going? Okay, we're nearly there, ladies and gentlemen! We have a very short bit, we're going in a straight line, and pretty soon we will be at our destination. Yeah, so, not too bad, about two and a bit hours. I think I caught it about, I think I said one and a half to two hours, but you know. It's not bad, seriously, two hours to drive across this fucking game world. It's huge. Absolutely huge. I'm gonna go for a few more questions, try and do a little bit more quick fiery ish. Uh ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. Oh my god. Hang on, I'm trying to glance up and then look down. Bum ba da 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 Oh god. So I keep hearing smashes and stuff. Are we there yet? Says PC Boy 111. Nearly! Nearly! Uh <laughs> Sorry, a question I, I couldn't possibly answer. Um <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Thoughts on the young cast says official Dino does stuff. Um I don't really have many thoughts on the young cast. Really, it's just a group of YouTubers. I don't really watch a lot of YouTubers. Like when it comes to gaming, I watch very few YouTubers. I I've I've never really liked gaming YouTubers as a whole, so I watch like only like one or two 
So I, I've never actually seen them. I, I think they're good. They have a good set of fanboys. They're not too awful. Um, they're, they're awful at PR. We'll give them that for their recent shit that they've been going on. But, you know, they'll get it. Probably one day. Or die trying, as Dr. 50 Cent said. He's a doctor now. He got his doctorate from the uh, School of Thugonomics. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. Oh god, wrestling jokes. Uh, did you see how good WK 2K15? W was it WWE 2K15? That's it. How good that game looks on PS4. Like they had, they released like a, a shot of it, and it actually looks really like it's just John Cena. I, I was like, what's this screenshot of John Cena? Oh no, it's just an in-game shot, but it looked amazing. There's two crashed planes here. Wow, that's that's really bad luck. They crashed in identical ways. Let's drive through that. That's a pretty fun thing to see. Uh, okay, right. I love sex monkey bots. I bet you do, Twitch chat. Oh my gosh! I was I looked down and then when I looked up I hit a castle. Random old stone building. Okay, just in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um Oh shit. That was a good bounce. So I am looking down at the, the things now. Uh why did Dan start again? I actually recorded like the first twenty minutes of this. Before my computer just died because I was doing something wrong. But it's working now, so we're going to keep going. What phone do you use and why? Says Josh M underscore 01. I use... I'm going to have to read the back because I can't remember the name of it. The Nexus. Not the new one. I think it's a new one. Maybe... the, the It's a Google phone. Um, because it was really cheap. I don't like phones. I don't give a shit about phones. I need something that does WhatsApp and I can read my emails on. And that is genuinely all I ever use it for. So... Buying a really big, shiny, expensive piece of shit is unnecessary. I brought this one off contract and I've had it for a few years. And I'm going to keep having it for a few years. I don't need to upgrade. It's pointless. Phones are the most ludicrously expensive thing in the known universe. Says the man who has a Razer laptop. Uh, I, I, I picked up a Razer laptop because I wanted like a proper backup editing laptop. It's a fucking beast. Holy sweet shit. I'm going to drive through this rock formation over here. It is insane. It's absolutely insane. But I got the more, the more editing focused one and it's just... It's like not the one with the, this, this one that has like the most HD screen ever. I didn't get that one. I got the one with a bit more RAM. It's got like 16 gig of RAM and stuff. Just edits so smoothly. Absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I don't like is the touchpad because it doesn't really work very well for me. But everything else about it is gorgeous. So that is just a beautiful piece of kit. Um, incredibly expensive, but I bought it as a backup. Uh, it, was, it was company funds. Well, most of the company funds. But um, yeah, I needed a proper backup and I got that and I'm absolutely chuffed with it. Um, so if, I, if my computer ever dies, hopefully never again, uh, then I should be able to just keep going with a laptop that's actually competent. A very loud laptop, but it runs like Just Cause 2 at max res, at max everything, at 60 FPS. So, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, I think we just entered the last area. We have entered the last area. Holy crap, our target is there. We are... Oh, we're in the last area. The road trip is going well. This one feels a lot faster. I think this one feels a lot faster because the desert bus was very boring to drive. Just click, 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 click. Whereas this one had a lot of shit going for it. Um, da -da 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 dun dun dun. Okay, introduce us to your girlfriend. Says Dravdon. No. Uh, my my life outside of YouTube is my life because it's outside you. You get the character me. You get the one who would shout things and do stuff and. It's important to separate the two, so when I walk away from this, I'm me, and the me you don't know, which is good, because then uh, I can be full-on character here and full-on whatever uh, in the real world. And that's good. When I'm wearing the headphones, I'm not cubed. When the headphones are off, I'm whatever my real name is. Um, so, yeah, it's... I No, you're not going to find out anything, because I she, she doesn't want to be known, and I don't want her to be known, because you're all monsters. Uh, imagine if Twitch found it. Jesus, sweet Christ, no. Just fucking no. Not Twitch, sorry. We're on Twitch at the moment. Um, Tumblr. Imagine, no. Because any time I said something, like, oh, I can't believe she's doing it. Bollocks to it. Absolute bollocks to it. I swear she's not online anywhere. <sighs> it's a good feeling. Um, yeah, the, I don't know. I keep my life to myself. You don't, you don't need to know that, that I'm drunk all the time. And I slept around a lot in university. And that's it. That's all I've done in my life, really. And neither of those are true. Well, one of them's true. But it's fine. Everything's fine. And you don't need to know who I am. Which is good. I think it works both ways. Because I get to keep doing this. And you like this. So that's great. Ow. That's why you don't get house tours and things. I don't like... It's kind of weird. It's like... It's it's almost voyeuristic. This obsession of like house tours. Do a house. Show us your house. No. 
to my house. Show me yours first. And don't, because it'll be filled with pictures of me and ponies. And that's creepy. Uh, uh, so true. So fucking true. Um, oh my god, we're nearly at the end. This is so sad. This was a cool road trip. Oh, hello. This up here. I think we've seen, like, although there might be, like, little secret things, because I don't remember seeing, you know, a whole city. It's just a pretty small little city, but that was the, that's the last remaining city. Uh, we nearly there. It's so nearly there. Yes, I'll answer a few more questions as we drive down this road. Dodge this truck first. Point. Yeah, that'll make me go where I need to go. Okay, right. No, 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 no. Oop, dip. Um, Matt's suggesting, uh, Matt's asking for suggestions of trucking songs to sing. Highway to hell. I feel like I'm on the highway to hell. I'm in the highway in hell. I'm in the highway on hell. It's pretty full this time of the day because all the cherubim are getting off. Uh, sing Star Trekking. How about no? The uh, uh, Matt, have you ever met Dan in person? Matt has met me once in person, only once. That's all I'd ever need. I, most of my friends I've never even met, so that's good. Um, it's just how it works. What game is this? Uh, this is Fuel. It says, oh, you don't know that, do you? You can't hear this. Tom, absolutely, or something. This is Fuel. It's uh, it's. Slightly dodgy drive mechanics on the old uh, quad bikes, but it's a pretty fun game. Big old fucking map. I mean, we've only seen like a tiny line through it. It's taken us two hours, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, oh god! This, oh my god! So many messages. Have you got your driver's license yet? No. Nope. Never gonna get one. Don't need it. It's unnecessary for me to have a driver's license. I, I genuinely don't need it. Uh, I I just walk everywhere. If it's too far to walk, I'll get a bus. If it's too far to get a bus, I'll get a train. If it's too far to get a train, I'll get a plane. And etc. and onwards until we get to the space shuttles and things. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't even get a fucking bus because I'm running a train station. Boop! Yeah, it's, uh, it's middle of nowhere, but about, you know, a two minute walk from a train station. If, if that. <laughs> uh, I like trains. Um, and then I get hit by one. Because that's the Tom Scar thing. Oh, kicked up some dust there. Stop kicking up dust. Bald ass dust eaters, or whatever the thing is. This car looks wrecked. I don't think it should look this bad, but it does. Uh, we're getting to the home straight. Oh, God, we're just getting a lot of wind here. It's, it's, oh, there we go. Into space. Does that fix my car? Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, my car is just going to be getting smashed up as I drive it. I've pretty much written this car off. Should we drive down here? Are we going the right way still? No. Nope. Oh, we're running along it. We've got to turn back. Because that's the ravine there. We've got to go over this direction and then follow it over. We are nearly there. One more question. We'll do one more question and then we'll get to the end. Are we there yet? That's an awful question. Uh, I'm going to flick up and pick a random question. Stop. Okay, what have we got in this little bit here? Uh, oh, sorry. I was looking at the thing. Whoops, stop. Okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't check and keep playing because at some point I'm going to just launch myself into here. How is Kenneth Kennethson doing? I don't know. Sims 4 isn't out yet and I probably won't get it because it's a big old mess at the moment. Um, it's not, it's just it doesn't have swimming pools, and that's like my goal for The Sims. Build a swimming pool! That's why I always do my characters and I get bored. Uh, do you think you could handle the hate, the amount of hate that PewDiePie gets daily? Asks the Satox. Absolutely fucking not. He is, he has some serious mental strength on him. I have genuinely no idea how he ever possibly deals with any of the shit that's said to him. I couldn't cope with it. I wouldn't want to cope with it. It's absolutely terrifying. Um, really, it is, it is just... Have you seen some of the shit that gets lobbed his way? Like, Protopike's great. Like, the amount of effort and stuff he still puts into his videos. If you don't like it, you might not like it, but it's still better than some of the other shit that just gets fired out online. So, yeah, I couldn't cover it. And the amount of hate and subscribers, you know. Like, I had to hire an entire somebody to read all that shit for me. Sorry about that again, Matt. Um, but, you know, it's groovy. Uh, where are we going? I don't know if it appears on my map. Uh, ah, just this way. We're running alongside the little ravine. It might be a tiny ravine. This was a complete waste of time. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I couldn't stomach that, really. I mean, this is why I don't talk. That's why I delete my Reddit account and all that sort of thing. Because I obsessively read everything. I obsessively read everything, and it made me realise I, I, I will never make everyone happy. And so, the best way... If you're never going to make everyone happy, don't try to. Don't try to, and you'll just be better at what you do. You'll make better stuff if you don't try and make everyone happy. And that's what I'm living by now. That's my thing. Holy shit, look at the size of this thing. It's insane. But actually, should we have a little peek? No, let's not peek over until we get to the end. And then we'll uh, we'll find a good place to jump off it. 
because it is there. It's now. See that? If you. Oh, yeah, we're just getting up to the uh, final destination. On the right there, you see that on the map. Sorry, I'm on the white line. There's a white line to the right. That's the middle of it. Okay? That's the middle of where we gotta go to. And this looks like a dead end, but not a ravine, so I'm gonna cut across. The ravine's there. Is this like the Grand Canyon or something? I think this may be essentially the Grand Canyon, which is, uh. Pretty fucking big. Oh my god. Can we destroy cactuses? No, can cactuses destroy us? You're damn right they can. The moon is setting and will soon explode into a new sun. It's actually how it works. True story. Okie dokie. Right, 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 right. We're nearly at the area. We're nearly there. Ah, thank you for watching this. Uh, this was good fun. Just, I like celebrating like the things that I had involvement with. Like, I have no idea. I can't control how many people subscribe. Well, I could. I could just pump out shit every day. But, you know, I, I want to have... I like... Celebrating the things that I've done. Is that weird? Is that egotistical? I think it's egotistical. Ready? Bing! Turn into the sun, please. Oh, it's setting. It stops. It stops. It just waits there a little while. And then it glides along a little bit and turns into the sun. How very strange. Okay. Oh, there's like a racetrack around the Grand Fucking Canyon. This is weird. We are here. We're at, we're at the finish line. Apparently this bit just goes around here. Ooh. Oh, look that. Oh, God, it goes over the edge. Oh my god. Oh, we're going to have to so go over the edge there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's that's a big old drop. I like the camera tip down to go, Look, are you sure about this? Oh, I hope this doesn't start racing up me going through the things. I don't think it will. I was just sort of nervous that it would. I didn't want to fuck everything up before I got there. Uh, I want to find a way onto that bit at the top there. I hope there's a gap on it. Really, really hope there's a gap on it. Um, actually, there's a ramp on the left there. Can we climb up anywhere apart from... I don't know. So this appears to just be its own little thing. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. Hit that wrong. Damn it. So just dead ends and things. Any ramps? No, uh, there's not ramps we can really go up. I can't come all this way and then not go up the top of that bit there. Because it looks like there's a way off. I don't get the height I need. Uh, let's go back round. We'll go back round and then we'll go through the entrancey bit and hope it doesn't start a race up. And just say we made it. Because we've made it now. We've done it. We've done the thing. I've offended everybody again. I hope not. I don't try to offend people. I generally don't. I just I just don't shelter my ideas. Some people find that uncomfortable, I suppose. Oh, this is the start. Hang on. Wait, that's his exit only. Oh, so, hang on, we went through the start. Oh, then how do we get up there? This is just locked off until you do a race or something. I don't know. Uh, we went through the start with everything breaking. Oh, I didn't even see that stuff. Um, oh, no, there's just a ramp here. But I have to go up. Oh, okay. Yeah! We made it! No, don't be blocked off. Or is that a ramp? So, oh, that's just a smoothing out ramp. Sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa! Careful. Holy shit. Oh, it's glass bottomed as well. Holy shit. Oh, it's glass bottomed. It, it, Oh, okay. It has a jump here. Okay, so that's what we got to do. we got to go around here full speed and then try and launch ourselves off into the ravine. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Nelly. We want to keep some speed up as well. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching. A thousand videos, which is insane. Um, yeah, that was good. That was fun. That was entertaining. I hope I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And... Ta-ra! Fuck you! Fuck, that was great! I said ta-ra! And I was gonna do it like falling off. Fuck it, I'm going this way. Goodbye forever, world! Holy shit! Oh, here comes the ground. I didn't get to the middle! Failure is mine! Oh! Testicles, no longer mine. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird